Okay. I've started the timer. If you have an echo, I will kick you out of this room. I have been told that I cannot curse for five to seven minutes. Five to seven. That's correct, right? Oh, great. Fantastic. So, okay, we got four minutes, 37 seconds to go. And now I have to attempt to say something without cursing, which makes it actually very hard for me, especially when I'm in a garbage mood. Oh, God, I hate this site. My sweet, ever-loving Jesus, do they attempt to try and just squeeze the fun out of everything? You can't have vitamins. You can't have a little drinky poo. Notice when, like, Ricky out of media or law or whatever started doing live streaming regularly, the dude descended into drunken madness. Bro is on the stream like, I never drink water. I drink alcohol every day and I'm fine. And he looks like he has, like, kidney failure going on and you know why it happened because he became a youtuber i bet doing law didn't screw him up so badly that he had to drink every day oh this site sucks my god and where's my kick deal huh huh kick you think this is a game i'm playing with you getting johnny somali watching him get slapped around all over the world can't give gundam his six figures let me count how much it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I don't get it soon, it's going to seven. You, uh, God, I got to not curse. Got to not say anything controversial. I have to praise Dylan Mulvaney. Let me do that right now, actually. Because this site loves that. It'll only last for a second. I know. Last time I put this up, chat got very upset. The chat was bigoted. And they didn't want to help me celebrate trans joy. You guys are terrible. Oh, speaking of terrible, um, I made the top. Get this out of here. What is this? Get little thingies there. Get those out of here. What's that right there? Double tap screen menu. I'll double tap you. <laughs> I made Twitch's, is it Twitch? Twitter's top 80,000 uh, transphobic people. Let me, where is that? Get me the uh, transphobic list, please. Oh, my God. Are you there? What are you doing? I'm here. Can you not hear me? No! <laughs> Give me the transphobe list. All right. Hold on one second. Let me pull it up. I've got the screenshot. Jesus H. Christ. Now I have to actually mute his mic because someone doesn't know how to use a noise gate. Jesus. Can't curse. Let me check the, let me check the timer. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes to go. <laughs> All right, I could do this. I could do this. Uh, these draconian rules. I have to be Mr. Rogers, huh? <laughs> okay. All righty then. All right. Let me check. Uh, let's see where that's going. How's the list coming? Um, Give me one second. All right, it's on the way, kids. It's on the way. <laughs> the two-minute warning. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Strong. Oh, my God. Gundam, you ever watch Homestar Runners? What the hell is that? Uh, can I say hell? Oh, Jesus. Is that a good word? Yeah, you can do that. That's, okay. Uh, Thank God. Acceptable. Lord have mercy. God forbid you talk like a normal person. I need to dress like a migrant every time I do these shows. That might help me. Is that okay to say? Thanks. Cool Debit. beans. Now, um, debit cards now, so it's all good. Everything's all... Uh... Let's not talk about that or I'll fly off the handle. <laughs> I still have a minute, all right? Let's just not do that right now. <laughs> Man, this is Look. tough trying to make it five minutes without cursing. Without me actually just, like, saying what I want to say fully, so I have to control every thought rather than just being a normal human being. YouTube, where they want you to broadcast somebody else. That's the new slogan. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. How long before we can look at Twitch dots being Twitch dots? Well, now TOS actually might have put a, a, a stop to all that. You're mm, mm, almost did it. Almost said it. You're close. So. So the TOS, J. <laughs> okay. So the TOS just changed and we can't look at the Twitch dots being stupid. Well, we can still look at Alinity being stupid because we don't see any. Uh, uh, um, uh, cake. <laughs> <laughs> here it is, right here. Actually, I can pull it up while we're uh, talking about this. 
the new made it five minutes section. yeah cool all right uh right here content that focuses on clothed intimate body parts such as the buttocks groin breast for extended periods of time oh, that's twitch's tos i meant youtube i don't care about twitch Oh, well, that was the new change to Twitch. So all these new metas where the girls are using green screens on their panties and their bras and stuff like that. It's out the window. Yeah, I, I called that. I oh, almost did it again. Do I have to make it seven minutes to be safe? Because this site is so absolutely. Just to be a little bit safe. God help me. You. Can I say pillow biters? Acceptable. Cool. Yeah, and as I was going to say, uh, Twitch doing this, not a surprise. It's deteriorating into baby's first... Um, Oh, I can't say video girl site. Thank you. God have mercy. 1984 is here. It's in 2024. Cyberpunk is going to be so gay in the future. You're going to have robots giving you pronouns and all this other stuff because I can't say another minute and 30 seconds anything remotely human. Okay, focus Gundam. It's all right. Just treat it like a, a, a YouTube video. Okay, so it's obvious that all of this was going to go down because Twitch is deteriorating into a, uh, a lovely site for degenerate perverts. And this is coming from a long-running degenerate pervert. I was talking to an adult film actress. Can I say that? Acceptable. Like a pro one, a real one. The ones you see in, oh, can you probably say professional. Someone yeah. that gets their money with a, with a 1099 and a W-2. Yeah, someone that actually goes to a set and they have cameras and makeup people. And she said that everything is so far out of control that there's no lines and it's a shame. When someone like that is going, things are off the rails, you know it's screwed up. It's like when a drug addict's like, oh man, this fentanyl, a problem. That's what you need to worry. The guy who does crack thinks things are getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile... The Dems are like, hey, I got a wild idea. Let's legalize it all. I know, Fluffy. That's right. Tell them about Philadelphia. <laughs> all right, baby girl, I'm sorry. Come here. I'm yelling because I'm upset. Calm it down, you little monkey. Oh, I'm going to talk this moment uh, while we got a little break into uh, everything to promote the merch store because I promised Anus that I would and I wanted everyone to know the merch store is open and if Gundam would tag the merch store link if Gundam would guess what chat, Gundam ain't doing much of nothing that's what Gundam's doing he's gonna have another well, drink then, well then Anus is gonna be up your anus because I don't care right now that's how I feel <laughs> Jesus a, Christ I'm about to put it in our DM chat you don't run on stage when Paul Stanley's doing Detroit Rock City and go, hey, guys, <laughs> Kiss has some merch. <laughs> you get hit with the shattered guitar. All right. So Twitch is going down in flames. Here, here. Oh, my hands don't work, but I'm flipping off the camera. Here you go, Twitch. Merry Christmas. I can't wait to watch you burn. Shifting your focus to e-girls was not the move to make, you dumb. It's so... Eh, fuck it, dumb bastards. You demonetize that, YouTube. I've had it. I don't care. You dildos. <laughs> you absolute creatively bankrupt grub worms digging off the flesh of the content creators that keep your site us float while you blow mainstream media. Who's the black dude who got fired by Elon Musk? Robin uh, Don Leach? Lemon. Don, Don Lemon. Lemon. Don Lemon can't get 100K views on his channel. What does that tell you? Yeah, I'm gonna he, pull has that to, up. he has to drag Elon Musk through the mud to get 90K. And YouTube's ready to give Don Lennon little kisses. Oh, thank you, Donnie, for being here. <laughs> not you, Fluffy. Not you. I'm, I'm sending kisses to Don Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd like it, too, because he's gay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate everything going on. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome to the show. That's garbage. Total trash <sighs> city. Look, look at these numbers. Look at these numbers, chat. The Elon Musk interview got 1.3 million. First Good interview. look. Hold on. Hold on. Don Lemon is using Elon Musk like that umbrella guy uses Johnny Depp or Amber Heard. This is just look ridiculous. At the, look at these thumbnails. 
This was his second one. So he goes from Elon 1. Musk 3 is here every day. <laughs> to less than 100K. I hate this mainstream media. This guy wanted millions of dollars for this shit. Tell Elon Musk I'll take Don Lennon's job tonight, and I'll do it for half the money. What do you say, Elon? And I guarantee you better ratings. We're going to do things that will make Mr. Beast go, God damn, this guy's on it. I just need the funding. Let's go. Hit us up, Elon. DB Productions. I'm not playing with you, Elon. <laughs> we're not playing. <laughs> you want we need, something We're good? looking for a bag out in this bitch. Yeah, you need to stop, like, sending everybody Mr. Beast's videos. That dude's patting Mr. Beast like the set in pads Ukraine's funding. Look at that. Thank you, 100, John. 156K. I mean, what a 56K. hero. Not even 100. Oh, my God. This is what YouTube wants to switch to, these people. Nine people watching that premiere. Look, 300 views in three hours. That's Don Lennon, <laughs> hire somebody to make some thumbnails for you, Don, and learn how to do it yourself better. What is this? Look at He's this. Not, bro, this is dark side Phil level of content when it comes to, like, putting a thumbnail. I didn't Don don't know give they were this bad. Look at this. Monique, Monique, Monique. It's not even... Is Monique here every day? Is Monique doing something every five minutes? Or is, no, it's just clips. It's like he did one thing. There's Monique. There goes uh, that gay black dude trying to fool everybody and thinking he's straight. Get out of here. Oh, look at that. He's trying to get in some YouTube drama. Candace Owens fired. Ben Shapiro. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares about this. Hello, everyone. Don Lemon here from... Fuck you. Look at this. A green screen in his basement. Wow. And they added, like, <laughs> captions, bro. Like, right. the Zoomers aren't looking for this. Caption. No. No. Yeah, get this out of here. I'd rather watch Dark Side Phil complain That's about... Negative. Fluffy, this, there better be somebody at the door with a gun. Uh, no, I'm not checking. Get in here. No! No! Fluffy's a little testy tonight. That doc thinks like she's doing something. Like, what are you gonna do? If someone broke in, you'd run. So why are you doing this? I think my dog heard your dog through my headphones. Fluffy's she's losing. It. Here. All right, show me that Alinity <laughs> clip. Bad sick. What Alinity clip? The one I sent you earlier where she's saying something so dumb it actually kind of killed some of my brain cells. Don't make me look this up uh, myself. Lord help me. Just keep it. Bring something else while I look for it. Let's go. Keep yeah, the ball you rolling. You didn't send People it. have right, short Chad. attention spans. All right, Chad. He didn't send it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, call an audible here. Boom. Get out of here, sir. God, not today. Uh, Chad, if you can tell me what these people are saying, I would really appreciate if it. If you send that video of the mentally handicapped people again, I the might lose my mind. The Here's trans, the Alinity the, clip. The trans, what, where it's in the it? DM. All boom, right, boom, on. boom. Fast. Bang, bang, bang. One, two, one, two. All right, I'm going to have to run it like a stage show. Love Clicks. Fails Alinity. There we go. Give me my comb, girl. I can kiss. kids yeah i don't freaking know what my dad go to go to prison for um my dad was the lawyer of a company called droga la rebaja and everyone that worked there went to prison because uh they found that the the cartels was using uh the company to launder money it was oh. like a really big scandal my parents were on tv and everything uh -huh. i feel like i have soap in my vagina give me one second i'm gonna go wash it up Making kids. <laughs> that was the left turn was yeah the that's why I... I might have i might have looked into this this is a, take it off now. I've had enough. This girl's a multimillionaire. I'll do it myself. This girl's a multimillionaire and her brain is so empty. It's painful. It's painful, dude. If only men in America would stand up for our rights and we stop working for a day, watch the whole thing shut down. <laughs> they probably arrest me for an insurrection for that one. It's a that gun of red pill leader. <laughs> Like, that whole clip just shows you Alinity's whole existence. Even her bloodline is linked to just being shady as shit. And then it ends with soap and a vagina. The perfect crescendo, if you will. Oh, God. Why try? The game is rigged from the start. 
Ah, what's on today's show? Because I did not pay attention. What's up, Frank Murphy? Well, I wasn't paying attention what the show <laughs> show's about. What the show notes were about? Yeah, uh, I didn't. Well, first off, let me go ahead and do the mm -hmm. plug real quick. Um, Just, all right. Oh, my sweet mother of God. I'll do it myself. Gundo's Garage. There we go. I forgot to link it today. What have I told you about the noise gate? I'm kicking you out. Those clicks are pushing me over the edge. Oh, Jesus Christ. This show sucks. Everything about it is garbage, but I love you all for being here. We're going to click that. There's today's link. It's Gundo's Garage. Buy a t-shirt, maybe. Why not? All proceeds go to me and my designer. And people not yelling at me off the show. All right. Next up. Bring out the show news. I can't. I'm totally. Uh, this is totally frozen. What do you mean it's frozen? Uh, my the, my PC is frozen. I can't. Oh, my sweet Mary Mother of God. What were you going to pull up? Um, the black girl gamer th gamers thing. But I can't. This is the problem. I'm running the stream right now. Oh, so it's frozen to Hold wait on. what do you mean you're running the stream you could leave yeah like jesus christ he's gonna pull up the black girls gamer thing didn't they threaten to sue anybody who looked at this shit now nah, i gotta go look at it but i'm gonna look first All i right, haven't back. Can you sue hear me? me yeah i hear you now how is it i think i'm back yeah i think i'm back i lost all my all my bookmarks, but that's cool, chat. Just give me one second. <laughs> Bro. This is the best. This is awesome. Don't y'all no. come for the most no. professional? Uh, this is what I get. I'm getting what I deserve. This is what exactly God has what ordained for me. Uh, actually, let's start off with uh, talking about Melanie Mack canceling on uh, your girl. You like flip it from subject to subject. Do you have anything ready to go? Is it ready? It's right here. All right, it's up. I was on All another right. page pulling up the black girl magic so we could line ourselves up to be sued. <laughs> um, Melanie Mack, if anyone doesn't know, she was actually Everybody knows who Melanie everybody Mack knows, is. Everybody knows who Melanie Mack Let's is. Let's <laughs> pretend everyone's retarded. Everybody knows. Yeah, She's I'm running around calling people bundles of sticks all over Twitter. And you know what? I laughed at it. How do you like that? There, I found it funny. Call me a bigot. Hit me with the Melody Mac news. She's not going to do an interview with what's her name? No. Tisha. What's her name? Uh, Alina Marcante. You did a I whole video so on her. <laughs> I can't remember these people. Like, I swear to God. I do I the video. I research it in the second I'm done. I mean the second. I delete it all off the computer and my mind. Because I don't care about these people. They're all a waste of my energy. Jesus Christ. I wish it could be Hassan Piker. Show up, have wrong information, and everyone's willing to suck me off. Like, oh, thank you, Daddy. You got it wrong, but uh, here's an award for journalism. Journalism this. Calm down, dude. Okay. All right, back on subject. I'm sorry. Oh, that's cool. Uh, she's just talking about the last thing that she wanted to do uh, was talk about the Kotaku editor, and everyone knows Alyssa Mercante, uh, Cheeks. Uh, all men are what was all it? men are all, enemies, and all, all are animals are friends. Oh, yes, I'll or drop her off in comrades. Yeah, go tell that to lions in the Serengeti when they're hungry. They're not going to be like, "Oh, you're a vegan." <laughs> I won't nibble you, even though you're high in cholesterol. Um, she goes on to saying, uh, judging by you blocking me on Twitter in your past current tweets about me, I don't think your intentions are in good faith and I'll pass talking to you. So she's just going to cancel the entire interview and that kind of put a, a damper on Alyssa's hit piece because now she, not only was she working on one on Melanie Mack, but she was working on one on Asmongold too. I don't know exactly oh, yeah. what she's yeah, going like to talk about with Asmongold because she thinks that for some reason he's turned right. which Bro. It's Anybody ridiculous. who doesn't like march lockstep in line with all of this is right wing to these people. And that's what makes them garbage. I found out reactionary basically means you don't agree with everything. That's reactionary now. Just like when you showed me Vosh doing like an hour long video 
on me talking about anime and comics. And I'm so glad he got exposed for being the absolute piece of dog shit that he is looking at like weird lolly horse porn and the dudes judging me. Anyone what? who thinks I suck is probably 100% most likely a weird effing, uh, Ooh, I came close. Okay. We're, close We're like 30 minutes into it. You can let go. Yeah, Chad, he can let YouTube go. YouTube comes after me for the littlest things. The littlest. They like, chumped up charges. I'm talking about a bird. This is racism. Go eat me. You talentless hack. Enjoy your job at Google. That'll soon be replaced by AI, and I'll still be here because no machine could be as crazy as me. All right. What's next on the agenda? Let me see the rest of this. Let's see what Alyssa's got to say. I'm sure she has some lovely words. Either that or give me my uh, transphobic list that I made. <laughs> <laughs> give me something. Let's go. Since pull that was right it next up. Wait. Can because we pull it up the... about them coming after me? Because I'm not paying. No, this is their public Twitter. This All is right, exactly let's what see. they're talking about. Let's see. Okay. This is uh, their tweet to that park place who uh, did an article on them a, a, a couple of days ago. I can pull it up, but it's really uh, it's just them talking about their hiring practices and how they're discriminatory in their hiring practices. What and a this, surprise. They're talking about actually suing park place for, as always, uh, defamation and slander. We're addressing the recent allegations published on, par published on Park Place about discriminatory hiring practices with black girl gamers. These claims are false and were made without prior fact checking or verification from us or our representatives. And Grums, again, he's been on the top of this entire Gamergate sector the entire time. Um, he was quick to point out that they actually do. Uh, what do they call it? Um, disc not discriminatory practices, but they they create a culture of themselves. I, I forgot what he called it. It was a specific word. Uh, uh, minority he's... operated. That's what it was. Uh, not minority owned. Minority operated. All right. So it's basically the usual black girl boss energy. Correct. Yeah. I ain't got time for that. See That's ya. why I date Latin women. <laughs> there, there's your answer. Uh, shout out to It's Anis in the chat. She is the one in case anyone needs uh, any questions on the merch. Because last week we had that question about uh, if we get 3X on the main shirts. Uh, she said we can't as of now. But to hit her up, and I had her email somewhere. I'll, I'll leave it in the description so if anybody needs it. It's already in the top of the chat. So we're good on that. Uh, okay. Boom, next subject now. Next one. ADD time. I'm playing, I'm playing my Before video. we lose people. I'm playing my fucking video. This Chad, again. If you, could, if you could figure out what these people are saying, say it in the chat. Not hey, this world, again. Got shit with day, bitches. Happy world, Down Syndrome Day. Happy world, Down Syndrome Day. Happy world, Down Syndrome Day. Happy World Dancing Doom Day. I think it's Happy World Dancing Day. Happy World Dancing Doom Day. Wait, Happy Doom Day. Day? Happy Sizzle. Let me okay, Google Chad. this. Let's see who can get it. It's not Happy Dancing Day either. We've got Happy World Syndrome Day. Oh my God. Dancing Day. Do you know why I've avoided this? There's a whole subculture of autism, drag, and transing going on. And I was avoiding it because it's such a hot button issue that we will all drown under the weight of community guidelines. What are you talking about? This is this is uh inclusive what is this? right here. This is inclusive. Uh -huh. Okay, what they're actually saying is happy autism day, which is April the second. So ha it's coming up. That's Happy Autism Day. Happy Autism Day. Fact, no, we'll they did not say that. Listen to it. Happy World Down Syndrome Day, bitches. Happy World Autism Day. Happy World Down Syndrome Day. Happy World Down Syndrome Day. Happy World Down Syndrome Day. It's Happy World Down Syndrome Day. You got happy it wrong. Happy World Down Syndrome Day. No, she said Autism Day. Well, they're saying happy Down World Syndrome. Syndrome day. Was both of them. Happy World Down Syndrome Day. Happy. Mm. This is so demonetized. I literally didn't curse for 
seven to ten minutes oh just to lose God. it for Down Syndrome Day. Because this pickled you pink specifically. I love that. It He's been hilarious. on this for days. Chrissy Mayer actually put it on her Twitter, and that's where I, that's where I saw it earlier. It was hilarious. Uh, this Sometimes the avatar doesn't capture my rage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Notice how right. one eye squints heavier than the other. Because he's drinking. I almost read that message. You're banned. Would I remember who said that? Oh, Volk. Uh, what's next on this horrid, horrid excuse of a show? Well, um, let me pull this up. The um, Hassan, he's going nuts. People are not watching his stuff. He's, he had a bitch fit in his hug box Discord. Just <laughs> uh, he didn't put out a, a video this time, but there's no video. Oh, no, nah, he just uh, talked on his. Just zoom in, just zoom and read it before I lose my there mind. I'd saying, I'm so sad. I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't see them. What is what the. Oh, I could curse. What the fuck is he smoking? His streams are bangers. It's a banger if you want to see a dude sleepwalk through a stream and make millions of dollars. It's an absolute banger. Oh, how about when you leave the room to piss and your editor edits in you looking at something else like you guys are sly? What a banger. It'd be better if you filmed yourself pissing. It'd be better content. That's what I think. And it's not the drink speaking, even though I am the liquor. Next we used one. to be a community. We used to be a community. I hate what, what is my that? community is becoming. <laughs> I hope they burn him alive. Hunt <laughs> <laughs> him down like the animal he is. Uh, I swear Twitch streaming isn't about the actual content. It's about whether people want to pay attention to you or, or not or clout. All that shit was a banger and only 13K watch like I'm fucking gaming at 8 p.m. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> He's in like uh he's in Australia right now. Oh, he's on vacation. Yeah, he's on vacation. He was actually at the zoo oh, earlier. What a banger. We got and that's to see where he was he said no one's watching this. So his problem is people aren't watching him on vacation while they live their monotonous shit lives in America. Go fuck yourself, Hassan. Jesus Christ, the absolute peak. Limousine liberal, baby. Champagne oh. champagne socialist. The last uh, guys. You didn't watch me enjoy my life. It's an absolute banger. I'm having a blast. Why but I wouldn't give for a monkey in? to throw shit on him. Uh, the last two, I'm done. I hate this job. I'm not streaming today. And the last one is I'm going to bubble myself. Oh, how I wish you would. I would probably <laughs> believe in God a bit more. <laughs> I'd be like, Christ is king today, baby. This is where he's at right here. This is where... Yeah, show me so I can get mad. Yeah, do that. That's what I need. Hassan's on vacation in Australia. You have as many pets as you like. Uh, They're super fluffy and cute. Oh, my goodness. Are there any particular animals that, like, uh, like shiny objects and stuff that I need to take off my jewelry? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. just in case no, there's a, in <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the eagle making it off of my Rolex. I know. Uh, I heard magpies like shiny things. Alvea sanctuary, yeah. there's like some animal that like the emu likes it. The emu will pick at your fucking jewelry. The emu. Bro, is gonna, is bro. Gonna get it. Gonna rob Why are you showing me this? I'm already starting to lose it. I'm seething. <laughs> I Oh my god. Look at this chat. Why isn't why aren't thirty thousand people watching this? Uh, that, this is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's the right in front of me. So there's one koala that actually loves to bite. That's the one. <laughs> this guy. Get um, him, his name's Phoenix. Yeah. Yes, yeah, straight away. He's like, oh, I'm, it. It. <laughs> I'm oh, shouting in the mic. Yeah, it's all all cute and tilly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bite. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. There was a pop up of a koala. Oh. No wonder it's a banger. I gotta admit, that's better in my stream. I'll give him that. We don't get prop ups, chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't you love it? Where's decoy? I don't know where decoy is. I'll show up when he feels like it. 
Let me go yeah. bother him. Get a gun to his head. I'm in the middle of watching Hassan do a banger. How dare you? <laughs> Decoy being on the six o'clock hour. There you go. For everybody, for everybody wondering. That guy's going to jump right out. He's like, decoy at six? Fuck this. <laughs> Can't take this trash. Oh. So this one is Pete. So he is one of our favorites at Can the we moment. Him? Yeah, of course. So he's only one year old. Um, Bro, how's this a banger? It's a home moment. movie, dude. And then Angus is it's a home movie we're watching. I know. It's claws, a I live anywhere from like 12 to 14 blog. years. But uh, unfortunately, there's only about 40,000 no of them left this. in the yes, wild. Yes, um, And that's just part of the deforestation. Too late now. Minecraft. They are on their way to extinction, unfortunately. So in the next... Anyways. Hassan's family home movies right there. Why didn't that's it? I was hoping for something better. So he's on vacation doing like, ugh. I'd rather watch. Now I see why the Twitch thoughts doing streams with their asses and tits is so popular. If I had to choose between watching Hassan enjoy his life or like whatever her name is, do a streamer and a butt cheeks, I'm all over that. In fact, no, oh wait, we probably can't watch it. Fine. What's next before I lose my mind? Well, I was just going to show some of the chat, some analytics real quick. These are um, Hassan's subs. He's actually at a high of 82, but right now he's at 31. So he's lost. Hold on. I got to read 60%. Gremlins. I got to read Gremlins right here. God damn, where'd it go? Get back here. There we go. Uh, damn, that edible stabby took off of my wallet. That is funny, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Thank you for sending $20 to give me a laugh. Now that's the job. All right, so he had one stream where he didn't do 30K and he's crying tears. He'll be yeah. back to 30 when he's like complaining about a boat hitting a bridge in like a day or two. Get him out of here. Get out of here. Showing me a Nepo baby doing well. What the hell is this? Crying over it. God, I wish that was my life. Jesus Christ. I got to come in here and I have to be remotely funny. To get anywhere. And then somebody goes, hey, where's the other guy? You suck. And I'm like, God damn. Now I'll punish you with more Hassan. All right, what's next? Um, this is a cop actually from my county that arrested this uh, meth head. And they did like, they do these little There better be a meth head video. There better be a meth head getting arrested or beaten or something. Because if it's just a cop talking about arresting somebody and it's not funny, I'm going to lose it. I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Earlier today, Elijah thought he's going to drive through St. Lucie County in a stolen vehicle and get into a car crash, working closely with the Florida Highway Patrol, not only on the sea, but on land. Elijah's now in custody. Our message is this to criminals. Not in St. Lucie. That's it. That's yeah. it. That bows, off, that bows off to what else I was going to tell, uh, talk about, which was your homeboy, the Tiger King. That was a bad segue. Bro, this is a step above like Jay doing a fucking stream with a cop. This is a step above that. Yeah. What was that? People are booing your chat. God damn it. Oh my God. I'm going to have to curate everything you pull up from now on. I'm thinking. Yeah, you don't even come in for gonna... show prep. What the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't matter. You got to yeah, know what yeah, the people no want. I can feel it in my soul. Oh, Joe is looking though. rough. Joe's I looking was going to vote yeah. for him in 2016. Joe had my vote. He's in um he's in my Saint, in my county jail, Saint Rosa County, for a federal court date. He's got to go to Pensacola for a federal court date. So what is he trying to take out that chick who's got the tiger sanctuary or something? No, I think he got charged with something else. I think he's about to get more time. Charge of what? Uh, we'll see. We, we don't as soon know. As he goes to court. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that would be better news if we knew what it was. Get it out of here. <laughs> God damn it. He just showed up this morning, by the way. I'm thinking Joe did something absolutely bonkers. You know, like he touched some young guy in an inappropriate way while talking about taking out Carol Baskin. Oh, God, we've got tomatoes in chats. Feel free to tomato him and not me. <laughs> yeah, this is all my, it's all my fault, chat. Just put it on me. The last stream. He pulls up this Cobra stuff. I don't give a shit. I ain't gonna you lie to you, like, Cobra. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to hear that. I'm tired of Cobra. Like her, and you talk I'm tired about Cobra of Cobra. All the time. No, I we, don't. Was the last time I talked about Cobra? In your last, it's video. been a while. Oh, that's a video. joke. That's a joke. I'm okay. not talking to you privately. Right. Like 
Oh, here's what Cobra and Nala are doing. I turned it off for three seconds, and I was like, oh, my God. Unless you know, Cobra throws Nala gonna, out the window. I'm not going to put it on, but they had like a, a fight fight. So my prediction that they're going to be coming to blows is getting closer and closer. That's all that we on. care about. Yeah, uh, the chat will only see it. That is on my word, chat. You will not be bothered with Cobra shenanigans unless he's punching Nala out. We have video, <laughs> like for real. Uh, I am so Mexican done. Guy, he says this is why Keem fired me. <laughs> this is what Mexican guy? I quit. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. All right, he um, let's talk about Diddy. Fuck this. Now let me see the trans uh, hate thing I got. I want to see like where I am in the list. I know I got on it. Who's number one? I need to know who beat me. Because it's obvious my years of bullying Dylan Mulvaney is only worth being in the 30,000s. Uh, the Fiddler? The Diddler. The Diddy the King. Diddler. Diddy the Diddler. doing stuff is not new. Everybody in hip-hop culture knew Diddy was up to wild stuff even in the 90s. But everybody just sort of let it ride. Running around going to like the Met Gala dressed like Bram Stoker's Dracula. And meanwhile, he's in real life living like Dracula. The diddler. Bro, you, you really pulled up that joke. <laughs> you really pulled this up. Ah! Throw it out of here. God damn it. Oh, God. Dylan owes me money because I discovered Dylan. I feel like I have been ripped off from what I'm owed in dude. And I almost said Diddler for some reason. That's such a good name. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to steal it. Ugh. Okay, here's the transphob list. Yeah, let's see it. Who, I want to see who's number one. Who beat me? Number Talk one, about being... They, they're really just in alphabetical order. That's what it is. Oh, okay. But you're close to... In the G's... This is how you know someone's terminally online and has no life, and I will make no apologies in saying, whoever made this, you have no life, and um, you probably have nothing worth enjoying, and that's why you did this. You had to make a list to find people who didn't suck trans toes and try and paint them off as, like, villains. Um, it's a guy named Mavon Abdel Mulvaney. He's obviously against the cause. God, right go there. outside. Go outside. 8,030. I've dropped pretty low. Wait, I'm pretty high. 8,000. No, this is just alphabetical order. Oh, you're right. It, Forgive me. This is ridiculous. How bored do you have to fucking be? I know. Man, I don't even Look have a this. list for people I actually know and hate in real life. 22,000 names. Wow. <laughs> and this is a list that anyone can pick up and just do a massive block. Good. Block me. I don't care. Last time I saw... Dude. I can't even show it to you, and I'm not going to look for it. I'd have my assistant get it, but I'm lazy. She sent me one of the people that, like, hated me that was trans. You have an echo going on. And uh, they were doing a diaper party. So a diaper party is where they dress up like little girls, like literally two- and three-year-olds. They call themselves smalls. And then they get in the diapers, and they shit and piss themselves. And then they all lay on the floor in a circle, right? And they sniff each other's dirty diapers. That's literally what it is. And that person blocked me because I was bad. Like, my dude, you are taking a crap on someone's nose. You have no moral high ground. All I did was make fun of Dylan saying, Ugh, can I say, Dylan, should I probably type it first? No, I'm not even going to bother, but we all know what it is. It's just a, a, a fact of law that certain people can't get pregnant. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But don't trust the science unless the science is about getting some shots. Then the science is valid. Thank you very much for coming to my TED Talks, you little bigot. Then you can make the shots in your bathtub. Just ask Heffles. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, my God. Then before you know it, you're doing crank with a side of meth and you're hiding from Keemstar. <laughs> Wonder what the hell happened to you. Her dealer was just like, yeah, it's Coke. Don't worry about it. It's straight up coat. She gets home. Hundred grand. That's where your money went. Whoever gave it to Keffels. <laughs> there you go, Ranch. Tipsters. Remember when Tipster gave Keffels a hundred dollars and Keffels was so out of it? They couldn't even speak. The uh, Tipster. Uh, 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 thank you. 
Uh, it was like Dark Side Phil behind me. <laughs> it was for her birthday. Tips uh, gave her money for her birthday. Merry Christmas. You got to give someone that had a hundred grand, a hundred dollars, you know, that left you out to dry when you tried to defend uh, a Vosh. Yeah, what the fuck the, was that? Back the bus over your ass. Oh, well. Oh, well. Ha, ha, ha. Content creation, everybody. Sign me, Rumble, so I can actually say something funny. You boners. Yeah, hit us up, Rumble. Rumble. Uh, what's we're, the other we're one? Totally that... shit, but at least we're here. Uh, no, speak to yourself. I'm the man. Don't forget it. I'm the <laughs> greatest. The I'm like Tyson. I'm like Jordan. Action Jackson. Thank you, Lewis, for the ten dollars. What does it say? Uh Gundam is the Nikola Tesla of electricity that is Dylan Mulvady. Yes, I supercharged that career. I'm an ally. <laughs> oh, my God. Here, I think I found the video of her stoned when she was accepting that. Uh, that Let's line. go. Sniff, sniff. Oh, wait, that's, that's just a picture. Oh my god. <laughs> it oh like it, my god. It looked like it was a video. I'm falling all over there my chair, Chad. I'm flinging myself across the room. Um Are we going to talk about the Willie Mac video? Um, <laughs> Kev, hold on. I have a quote evidence. to read out. I can't even fault Keffels. I get on my vitamins too. <laughs> I was spacing this hard like last stream. Was two streams ago with it was uh, two Brent. streams ago. I was this far gone. Oh uh, yeah. Look at that. When they, when I, they hit... I would like to paraphrase the late yeah. Russian revolutionary Vladimir oh. Lenin. <laughs> Why should we bother to reply to Willie Mac? He would reply to us and we would have to reply to his reply. There's no uh -huh. end to that. Yeah. It would be quite enough for us to announce that uh -huh. Willie Mac is yeah. a traitor yeah. to the working class and okay. everyone will oh understand. <laughs> oh, get this out of here. <laughs> Hi, is a kite while talking traitor. about the bourgeoisie. Sit there on meth talking about the bourgeoisie. God help me. All right, let's just jump to, jump to the tipster part. Let me just give me to the tipster part. Let's fast forward. Oh, hold on. That's the, this is the next one. It's the next hit it, one. hit it. It's the next one. Hold on a second. What? Right, there's more than one. Oh, God, I wish I was on vitamins. Uh, do you think, like, in communism, there isn't this level of good drugs? Like, frankly, how can you be for communism when capitalism has gotten you some of the best stuff that gets you so zonked out of your mind you can't even read? That's the best high. Oh my god, I was shooting stars, dude. That was a great stream for me. And I slept like a baby that night. The best sleep I ever had. I woke up refreshed. I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then my email's going off. Gundam, you need to stop taking your vitamins. <laughs> and I'm like, the vitamins are the only thing that help me sleep. I finally understand Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was so just overworked and stressed. He literally had to have people euthanize him to get to sleep. Every night. I, I understand. Michael was a genius. He Everything he did. I'm, now he's dead. I understand him better than he was ever alive. Michael knew he had to be a performer on stage and off. He turned himself into an absolute freak for you people to entertain you. Wacko Jacko. Now we got these modern freaks and they suck. Dylan can't dance. Dylan can't sing. Dylan can't tell a joke. What is this? Michael had the decency to moonwalk. I can't stand this day and age. And you can quote me on that. Ah, now, where's the rest of the news that I'm supposed to be looking at? Okay. Hold on. I I'm buying it. you time. Now. You vamped it and I got it. We're on time. Ah, on time, more on booze. Time. Oh, where's her volume? Tipster, why did you? Thank you. 
Thank you for that. Hit Thank me you. with it. Tell me what it is. How much is it? Sorry, my oh, those eyes. My brain just like short circuited for a second. Thank you for a hundred dollars. High uh, as a kite. Eyes are as red as the devil's dick. She I've knew. been there. She was thinking I've about how much there. she could buy. She's like a hundred dollars. That'll get me a gram or that give me a few grams. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chad is already vomiting. Listen, we had to expose you to this to prepare you for tomorrow because you're going back to work. <laughs> You're going to go to your job. You're going to think, wow, at least I don't have to look at this dumb shit for a living. That guy's life sucks. No Ugh. shit. Um, I guess we just should do a couple <clears throat> super chats because we were about to fire them off. About to pull them up. Uh, here we go. Cancer Watch 49er with the $50. Just some money for the Flea from New York fund. Get, it, get out while you can. Ah, thank you. Let me tell you, New York is wild. The migrants are doing a lot of bad, naughty things, but you can't say anything because they're migrants. But don't worry, they're going to tax me extra. <laughs> this state sucks. Watcher. B grows with the $10. Hooray, I finally caught you live. Stay real, man. Keep the quality content coming. Thank you for being here because we need you to send a message to Rumble and Kick. Uh, by Yong Su Yu with the $10. Hey, Gundam, you should make a shirt with Billy on it. I think a bunch of us would definitely buy it. Also, my friend heard you call him Suck It Nerd, and now he is externally a nerd. Thank you, Papa G. That's a good idea. I can't remember what I said, but hey, run with it, baby. Yeah, Billy shirts, I will send it off to Anus immediately. We're going to bring back Billy. Oh, I forgot to film Billy bits. Jesus Christ. God, I hate editing. You basically live behind an editing machine now. Yeah, you're out there going to like a car show and I'm staring at Adabe for a week straight. And then he's like, what do you want to talk about on the show? And I'm like, bro, I've been on this Adabe since I woke up. It's been 12 hours. Earlier. Yeah, I don't need to hear about that right now. Okay. Thank you for the $50. <laughs> you phone is chaplain with the 50. Uh, it's not that I couldn't pre-order a fluffy in time, but soon a shirt at least. I probably will get more out of this shirt than the Fluffy. I don't know. It, and thank you for considering buying a Fluffy, dude. Thank everybody who bought one. That company has cut all ties with me because I didn't meet expectations. Just like a woman. Saren with the $20. Taking my big turbo Focus ST to the circuit track on Friday to celebrate my birthday. Turning 29 and it feels fine. 420 to the wheels and this little piece of shit is a blast. I'll be sure to bang off the limiter in honor of Papa Gundam. Hell yeah. I'm going to get some stickers so you can put them on your car. <laughs> That's what's up. Focus ST is the shit. A friend of mine used to have an RS. Those things haul ass. Let me give you some wisdom about being in your 20s. Don't waste them on women. There you go. <laughs> Words to live by right there, chat. Gremlin Anaku with the $20. Yeah, that I did that one already. Me. Yeah, we did that one. Okay. Thank you but for Thank the you, Gremlin, because that was funny. I got twenty dollars to laugh. Now that is what's up. Lewis Cerezo with the ten. Gundam is the Nikola Tesla of energy. Did that one we as well. To Thank estimate, you, Lois. Estimate of the situation with the ten. What's up, Gundam? Have you read Estimate of the Situation yet? I sent a copy to your public facing address a while back, wondering if you ever got it. Probably did. Probably gave it to someone to read to get back to me on, and she has not done so. I will yell about it later. I'll, I'll look into it as well. Maybe I can help with the situation. We need a little music. Fuck this. Um, Doc Vortex 7 with the $10. Gundam, you make my long haul trips more pleasant with your live stream. Can I get a shout out for all the truck drivers crapping in bags on the side of the road? You got to give a shout out to truck drivers. They're the only ones keeping this country going. This country, Australia too. Australian truckers are doing work. That's why I support truckers with screwing over New York City. Kathy Hochul can suck it. I support truckers. You think you're going to mess with it? Nah. Let's move on before it gets too political. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Django's Corner with the big $100 donation. Man, Django comes in and kills you. those rebels. Thank you so much for that. I, I think you're already on the leaderboard, but we'll put you 2x on there. <laughs> Man, get this communist <laughs> crap out of here. Which one? Because there's been a lot of communism. Notice how people for communism are always high educated or rich. Makes you think. 
Lord Catholicus with the ten dollars. Thank you for being Papa. Favorite, Favorite retro, retro system? system. Maybe the PlayStation One. That's retro, right? Or PS2 was pretty hot too. PS3? Yeah, PS3 and PS2 had the good Gundam games, man. You're not getting that again. Gundam build divers. Build dive my nuts. Me, the money with ten dollars. Stay yourself. You're a great man. I am going to need you people to start telling my mother this. My mother saw one of my live streams and she just goes, All you do is curse on it. Like, that's all you do. It's just cursing and cursing. And then she turns on like these YouTube videos where it's like these shitty little animated videos. And it's like, Virginia, you need to get a job. And it's animated as badly as this is. <laughs> and I'm like, you won't even watch my like videos to give me two cents, but you'll be the first one to hand out for $800. Ah! Next chat, please. Scott Witty with the not with the ten dollars. You hear about P Diddy changing his name to the P Diddler? Diddy See? ain't changed his name to nothing. That's what people are calling Diddy. Diddy out there pacing. I got that video after he got raided and he was in the airport. He was just sitting there pacing, talking about. You could see in his mind, he was just like, "Man, I am totally, totally fucked." Oh well, it's about time they got Diddy. I think he took out Pac. He probably did. That guy, uh, what's his name? The Vlad got. He's in jail right now. So he's saying that Diddy was supposed to pay him a million dollars, but his the middleman ended up stealing it. Cool. He, he dead now, though. That's not a surprise. There's a lot of people that ended up dead around Diddy. Mm -hmm. Rob the Doodler with the twenty dollars. Thanks for the laughs and helping me through the funeral for my faith in humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to your escape from New York and maybe something new with two wheels. Oh, God, I kill for a new bike, dude. You have no idea. Uh, don't remind me. It's depressing. I, I can't think about things I want because I never get what I want. Look at this real quick. This is Diddy. Look at Diddy. Oh, they got him. He's it's Diddy. Hold up. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> cameraman. He's just sitting there like, that's the first time in a long time Diddy been feeling the stress. He's yeah, you going to jail, boy. He's shuffling. It's over. It's over, Diddy. It's a wrap. But I bet the locks are happy as hell. They're probably like popping Chris Dallas up. <laughs> the <laughs> amount of people he screwed in the game. Oh. Oh, there's the 50 cent? What are you talking about? He's going nuts over there on Twitter and Instagram. I want 50 cent videos. I don't want no twits. I want to hear what 50 saying. I'll have to check here in a bit. Pen Thank Panda you, Pen with the Panda. $10. What do you think about the animated Bad Dad series by Scortinio Video uh, Studios? I love it. There's an animated Bad Dad? There was a guy animating a Bad Dad thing, but I never had time to do the voice work for it. And then he did take some odd creative choices. Like, I think he made me as Bad Dad's son. And it's like, that's not how the character rolls. You know, Bad Dad's son is your typical hyper left-leaning progressive that was obsessed with, like, gay pop culture. But whatever, what you gonna do, you know? I'll leave it up to interpretation. Till Rumble hires me and pays me to make a show. Steve Devil with the $20. Hail Gundam. Dating is insane. I've been hit up by three adult content pushers on Boo. Calling them mid would be generous. Got it. It's a fluffy, awesome product. Dude, thank you for buying some fluffy. What's Boo? Is that like a, a dating app? Because if it's funny, I'll check it out. Like, I kind of uh, get my kicks from <laughs> going on dating apps and seeing what women chase me down. Let's see. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's see it, baby. Pull it up. Wow! All I've right, been drinking. Do what Diddy Dum D do. <laughs> <laughs> but what Diddy do, Diddy does what Diddy be. He's up to some wildness, apparently. Now people Thank aren't, they're not saying no um, HMO anymore. They say no Diddy. Mace was on his, uh, his church stream talking about, yeah, no Diddy. Laughing at him because... Uh, he has homosexual tapes, allegedly. Oh, see? See? That's why Mace left. When Mace left, I knew something was up. I was like, Puff Daddy found Mace? What? And then, like, Mace goes to become hyper-Christian. I'm like, oh, Puff up to something wild. 
if it's so bad, Mace went right to Jesus. <laughs> this is the site right here. Oh, I thought it, I'm like waiting for Mace to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's Mace? I'm gonna pull that up in just a second. Let me get you got to join. All right, we're just gonna uh, like run through something. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. Nicola Jova, are you and Pokemon still cool? Will we ever see the love fan fiction of your romance with Imane? Also, do you think Fedmeister fumbled the Pokemon? Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Number one, the Pokemon manga I was trying to make happen. The artist who did it was actually a professional artist in the comic book industry. And he got spooked because being linked to me gets you in trouble with, you know, the types of people. So that kind of went south. And I was trying to drum up interest to see if we could do a GoFundMe to pay for it. But um, I don't know. It just kind of didn't materialize. And he scrubbed all his socials where he was talking to me about the uh, the comics. So, yeah, I think he's more worried about his career than making the Pokemon thing. Did Fred Meister fumble Pokemon? Hell no. He didn't fumble Pokemon. I'll tell you what happened right now. Well, technically, he probably did. But Pokemon's rich, all right? If we're going to break this down, we're going to break it down. A woman with a career that makes a lot of money is hard to hold on to for an average dude. That's just the reality of it. Because she's always going to see herself as higher than Fred Meister, Fred Minster, whatever the fuck his name is. And this goes for normal women too. If your chick make more money than you, she will in time look down on you on average. There are exceptions to the rule, but we're not talking exceptions. We're just talking straight facts and the averages, the law of averages. So Fred Meister wasn't that hot. So Pokey just figured, you know, she could do whatever the hell she wanted. And if he didn't like it, he can go fuck himself. Women's empowerment. That's who we are now. That's why body counts are so high. Like, things are just absolutely wild. The best advice I have for you as a man who's been through it all. I've been through so much now. Look at the kids today. They're like, I've never kissed a woman. I'm 30. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Work on yourself. Be work, fit. Work on your sexy. Yeah, no joke. Work on your sexy. Don't be looking like Phil and wondering why you ain't getting nothing. Yeah, Two, first. work on your money. Always get your money right. I don't get care what bag. anybody says. Get the bag for you above all else. Make sure that you are on point and you're taking care of yourself. You focus on yourself. You love yourself. You're doing things you like. You're doing things you love. Women will just hunt you down. They will be everywhere. You can't get away from them. Come out the fucking bushes. Hey, you. Haven't heard from you in a while. You have ex-girlfriends. You have ex-fiancés all of a sudden spending years hunting you. I'm speaking from experience. It's like, baby girl, you blew me off six years ago for a dude who's a mechanic. I'm sorry your engagement didn't work out, but don't try to play me. Do not play me. I'm wearing off whites. The game has changed. The only thing keeping me from being a SoundCloud rapper is this damn YouTube page. Holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Kurum the Frozen with the $10. Hey, Papa Gundam, I've been reading Berserk. I'm in the Misty Valley right now. I love Berserk. I love it. It's one of the best things ever done. The death of Kentaro Miura is a loss for us all. The death of Akira Toriyama is a loss for us all, especially in America, where we are so starved for anything remotely decent. Oh, that's Decoy Voice. Fuck, yeah, I went on to One more. Uh, Mosh Pong with the $100. Shout out to Mama Gundam. <sighs> You're all beautiful. <laughs> my details <laughs> uh man you don't know what a, i'm gonna let it ride man but let's just say i live like it's eating gilbert grape uh all right let's go ahead and bring in our guest for the night if you like his concise light-hearted commentary this is who hey, people want up? they want decoy voice they don't decoy give a fuck voice, about that's me that's what i'm talking about <laughs> they're what's like where's on? decoy oh thanks for having me on i didn't even know uh Am I, are we live right now? I don't know. Oh, we're comments. always live. I'm, okay. I'm, nothing is planned. Nothing's rehearsed. Free balling decoy. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's pretty much how I do all my live streams. I'm not as a uh, professional and polished as all those other channels out there, but, uh, no, there's no professional here. Definitely not professional here. I need to move my desk Got people here. yelling at me about communism because I'm watching Hassan Piker worry about animals steal his jewelry. What? Did you see he recently was getting all upset in his Discord channel about um his like failing viewership? Like people don't want to watch him anymore. So he like he wants to he wants to quit. Like he's really upset about that. Dude, I think like he's just having a bad day. He'll be back tomorrow. His simps will return. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is like it's one of those 
I think he was complaining about 13,000 people watching his live stream. But I mean, in, in my book, that's those are pretty good numbers. And he's he never has to work another day in his life. He's like, rich. Oh, like, why, did he, why would he care? <laughs> like, it's ego. That is true. That is true. He has an overly inflated ego for what he does, because I mean, oh, I, don't yes. know about, I don't know about you, but it's like I have nobody. I have nobody that had brought me into like the live streaming world or like a doing like political commentary and everything. So I don't think he, he understands what it is to like live stream to an audience of three. Cause that's what I started off as. And it's like, yeah, I felt I was grateful to have the three people in my live chat that I did because they're taking time out of their day to watch me. But it almost seems like he's out there trying to shame his audience into watching him more as if they owe him something. Well, it's because he's born rich. That's the thing. And I'm I never knew that audience. until recently. Like I did a video covering it because I knew that his his uncle was uh, uh how do you name his how, how do you say his name? Cenk Uger. Uger. Yeah, Cenk Uger. Cenk. Okay, but I knew his his uh, his uncle was Cenk, and he kind of got him in the business. But I didn't know that they were also like multi millionaires or they came from money. Oh yes, you could tell by the way he rolls and dresses. He comes from money. That, There's that nothing is... man made there. Yeah, I mean. I, I imagine most, uh, what is it, uh, Twitch streamers that have made it to his level of success, they've they dress like that and drive vehicles like that. So I mean, I, I just okay, don't you got point there. I guess you know they turn into XQC where they're damn near brain dead, and then you walk, catch them making out with their sister on stream, and everybody's cool with it. See, I was unaware of that. I feel like I'm I'm missing out on um precious. What do you call it? Uh. uh Twitch streamer drama money where like I could cover that on my channel, which I normally don't, but I feel like I'm missing out on money because there's so much of it. Live stream fails. It's a gold mine. Bro, I don't I don't even bother most of the time. It's just if you pay too much attention to it, it just burns you out mentally and spiritually to watch these people be completely brain dead and become multimillionaires. And you're sitting and editing videos for like 12 hours a day, burning yourself out while people tell you you fell off. <laughs> That is the funny thing, though, is it's like I always feel like your audiences are always more concerned about your viewership than you are. Like, I think that you're established. Like, I, what are you at? Like nearly a million subscribers. And you kind of know months you do terrible, months you do great. That's just the name of the game on YouTube. But whenever I have like a slew of videos that barely hit 100,000 vi views and like, man, Decoy used to get a million views per video. He fell off. And it's like, well, I mean. There's, there's, there's nothing I can do about that. That's like a, a, a robot system determining how well I do, not if I'm good or bad. It's just how it people is. really have no idea how much YouTube influences whether you're seen or not. They really don't. And if you do too many controversial things in a row, oh my God. Oh, like basically deranked at that point in time. Oh, it's yeah. Like, I think, like, I don't know for a fact, but I do know that Instagram recently implemented that thing that if you're on there and you want to see political content, you got to go through like settings, advanced settings, account settings to re-enable you to see political content. It's no longer the default. And I almost think that because election cycles coming around and because people like uh, Tim Pool and a mm -hmm. couple, I forget the other channels, but a couple people made lots of money out there, pretty much getting triple the viewership of any mainstream media outlet. They want to make certain that doesn't happen again. So oh, yes. what Instagram did it's probably what's happening with YouTube. Oh, this yes, cycle. dude. They, they put it in place around September, I'd say, of last year. They started real early. Now, in 2020, when Trump was running, they started in around at August of that year. But they learned a lesson. I guess they felt YouTubers and all this other stuff influenced them winning. So this year, because I got nailed real hard. It was bad. I thought it was over for me again. <laughs> it was just like, God damn. You make fun of Biden? Mm-mm. And that's the thing is like, I, since I'm like very new to this, like, I think you were still very like successful when I was just starting the gain steam, like 30,000 subscribers. I had always used you and Tim pool, particularly to say, if it's a Gundam can say it, <laughs> and he's still getting like Raycon advertisements. I think we're going to be okay. If I say it too, I never, I use you guys like a pace car. I never wanted to get ahead of you and say things that were more extreme that you were saying, but it, I mean, you guys definitely test the waters and I figured that, that you guys know something I don't, but maybe you're one. Right. I'm going to let you in on a secret that even Mooderhart does that. Like Mooderhart tests to see what I can get away with before he makes a move. He said that <laughs> privately. So everybody waits to, it's a gun to runs out first into the field to see if the Nazis take him out of the beach, you know? Yeah, <laughs> because that's the thing is like, 
I know other YouTubers I talk to, like not not too frequently, but they're like also faceless channels that will like cover political things. And I think about how it's not like it's easier for you guys to say things that are a little bit more borderline, but it, I don't think it'll it'll ever come into your real life. Like me, when I lived in LA, I was getting recognized like once a week. And it was kind of, I'm not saying it's getting bad, but it was one of those things of like, yeah, I guess I never want to be like this very, very extreme guy straight up getting like Andy no milkshaked in the face for just trying to get like a, a cheeseburger somewhere, you know? Yeah, I hear you. That's why I I never really showed my face because I I want to have a normal life outside of this. I'm just trying to make some jokes, make people aware that, hey, you're not crazy. Things are going off the rail. Here's some funny. And then hey. just be able to walk away, you know? And that's probably the smarter thing at the end of it. I mean, I think that I just had a channel originally that just kind of covered more like drama stuff. So I never thought it was going to be interfering with my like real life, which which it has. We like, all I, never think it's going to interfere, dude. Yeah. You don't start this thinking like, oh, I'm going to hit a million. My goal was 5K in a year. That was as far as I planned. I mean, those are modest things. No, I think I always had like a um a goal of making it. Like really, really big because I always thought of like somebody like uh, um, I keep on using him as an example. That's all I can think of right now is like Tim Pool making like basically a giant media empire just behind his face. And I'm like, well, if he can do it, I'm not saying that he's he's not very talented and and, and uh and educated, but I'm like, if he can do it, why not me? You know, <laughs> like so that's kind of like a thing where I I always set out to be very successful, and I feel like it it's starting to happen. I'm not there yet, but it, but it's starting to happen. Well, here's two things you did right. One, you're your face. People can relate more to a face than this goofy little avatar or pictures. So that way they can kind of imprint on you a bit more. My personal opinion, until yeah. you cover all the funny stuff that's going on, like you'll bang out a Johnny Stamali video in a day, <laughs> whereas to I study this motherfucker like the Koran and put out a video like three weeks later <laughs> with a fraction of the views. You're going about it smarter. Yeah, I mean, it's... I try to make it a little bit of a mixture because, you know, like with the YouTube algorithm, they just pretty much want you down one pipeline and never deviate from that. But the way I see it is when I'm covering all these pretty harsh, like political things, it's basically me doom scrolling. And I, I understand I, I hate people complaining about mental health because this is legitimately <laughs> the easiest job I've ever had in my life. But the idea that, you know, it is a little bit taxing to be just chronically online, just looking at, at, at Twitter and all the terrible things that are happening in the world. And I don't want my audience to experience that as well. So I'm like, let me just put in not necessarily funny stuff, but just more cultural stuff. Like right now I'm working on that video about what hap what's happening in New York City with all those women just getting randomly cracked in the face, doing nothing. And it's like, that's doom scrolling. That's very, like, that's harsh reality that's going on right now. Might as well break it up with some people acting immature and finding out overseas. I got to say, the biggest mistake I made was not jumping on Johnny Somali the second. Because I have friends in Asia. Taiwan, China, oh. um, Japan, uh, all over. <laughs> and they send me stuff on Johnny Somali. I was on to him getting his ass beat a week before it hit public. And I was like, uh, I'll get to it after I finish this sweet baby video that's been taking me a week. And now it's just all over the place. And I'm like, oh, you stupid bastard. The algorithm rewards who's first. Remember yeah, well that. Well, the one thing that I realized, though, is in the beginning, you're like your sub 50,000 subscribers. You pretty much have to be first. Like I'm right now, I'm trying to help out a girl that's trying to transition from TikTok to YouTube. And it's like the algorithms are way different, but YouTube pays better. So I'm trying to help her navigate that. And the idea is I um In the beginning, you have to be first. But once you've been around for a while, like you're established, I would say I'm a bit established right now, too. People will, will traditionally wait to hear from us they was like okay yeah I, I that thing happened but what does it's a gundam say like the guy donut operator he used to have to be first on every single police shooting and now he can be <laughs> a month late and people will still give him five million views on a video so well, i say i have a double-edged sword for me one i constantly get nuked by the system mm -hmm. so yeah. a lot of people don't know i do a lot of things there's a lot of people who don't even know i have a live stream and i've been doing it for like two months it's kind of wild I get messages of people like, it's sad you quit YouTube, bro. I'm like, quit YouTube? <laughs> I just uploaded today, dude. He's like, what? <laughs> I knew people in real life that like my old employees at my old job would be like diehard decoy voice watchers. And then they'd be like, yeah, hey, 
I watch your video. Like I'm, I'm subscribed, have notifications on whenever you go live, I, I watch it. I haven't been seeing you even in their browse feed. Like they've been scrolling. They don't see me. They actually have to go to my, my page to find my new content. And I'm like, Dude, that's, that's nuts. If, if I swear, if I was doing everything that the mainstream, if I was just a parrot of the mainstream media, mm -hmm. praising all the woke nonsense, I'd be front page everywhere. Oh my God. You'd be like, at a million by now. Yeah. They, they, oh, he's, he's, the the person of color of color that is saying everything we want of course we want his diverse voice on, on the fr first and or like you know front page status but but i'm just i'm not that and yeah. i mean i'd rather have this problem of just like you know struggling with the algorithm than having the problem of like basically selling your soul for a couple bucks i'm in new york i'm starting to think of selling my soul to be real with you yeah. i gotta get out Sid, help <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I, I, I'm just waiting for that video I uploaded it right now of the stuff that's happening in New York. Like, are you aware of what of all the people getting punched in the face? Yes, I'm aware of everything. Dude, and I'm aware of migrants stealing Apple products. I was the first guy saying it online. They steal Apple products and they sell them all over the city. It's it's just on the sidewalk everywhere. Because over yeah. like in LA, you would just be walking around like a, a a residential neighborhood, not even necessarily a bad residential neighborhood, and you would just see basically a Home Depot on the sidewalk, like all the Dewalt <laughs> things, like all, like expensive uh, uh appliances, just sitting there. And it's like, how do we get to this point? Like th this is literally like I'm walking through Mexico right now, dude. We've is, got to this point due to bad policy and liberal views and as a guy who used to be liberal you know uh, i can't follow this anymore it's ridiculous it's out of line it's out of control we're losing the country in the sense of it's getting like third world. like literally we have scooter thieves in new york now that's shit i used to watch on twitter like oh damn brazil's doing bad now it's new york <laughs> This is the story that i had up earlier about the migrants the illegal migrants getting uh debit cards without any kind of identification, they're getting a $53 uh, million dollar pilot program where they hand out debit cards to 640 families, $350 a week. They wouldn't give them a whole month up front because people would spend it all at once. Oh. So they divvy it out week by week. So what was it, $1,400 uh, a month? I really don't. Million dollars. I hate seeing this. You have no idea. And With it's the way they tax me. Because we know it's not working with even like EBT services. Like it, it's never we given them EBT, and as a as a whole, we've gotten rid of the the uh, the poor class. Like we got rid of poverty by giving them something. It's always ca caused more suffering, incentivized more people to go down that path. And somehow we think, you know what? It didn't It'll be work different work. this time. Yeah, it's going to be different this time. It, it didn't work last time, but maybe maybe one more time, just another trillion dollars. Why wouldn't <laughs> that save America? <laughs> Exactly. Uh, the Democrats taking over New York. It's just been so bad. I don't even know how Hochul won. I remember she went to a Rangers game. The whole stadium booed this bitch. And I'm like, yeah, New York. Yeah. And she gets in. I'm like, what? No. Oh. And that's the thing that they always seem to try to blame. Now it's MAGA Republicans like California, yes. deep blue, like everything that's been just unilaterally controlled by Democrats for the last few decades. And somehow... They're like, it's those pesky MAGA Republicans in here. Like, what? It's the Trump supporters. And it just, you'd think that people would be smart enough to know, hey, maybe this isn't right. Because like I said, I lived in a part of L.A. that wasn't the worst. Like, I, I lived in a bad part of L.A. before, but I lived in a better part when I left. And I remember having a, a boss at my old job straight up saying things like Larry Elder, that the black conservative radio host that was running for uh, governor during the recall election against, against Governor Gavin Newsom. They were calling him like the black face of white supremacy. And mm -hmm. then I had a manager that wasn't political, but she was like, oh my God, like that guy, Larry Elder, I heard he's worse than Trump. And I'm like, How the fuck? you know nothing about Larry Elder. And you're saying what you're just parroting what you heard on TV. And then I remember very, very specifically, not too long after she had said so many bad things about Larry Elder, she came to me and said, oh, my God, decoy. Like, I feel afraid to walk my dog at night. And she lived in one of like the nicer parts of the city. And I'm like, wait, so you mean to tell me that you are well aware of how dangerous it is, is it dangerous it is for you to be just a lone woman with a dog walking around the city? But you keep on doubling down with these terrible liberal policies, voting for Democrats as if they're your saviors, knowing they progressively make your life worse every single year, year after year, and they just can't escape it.
They just it doesn't they, make sense. My they know like Kim that. Kardashian and LeBron James told them <laughs> this is the right side to be on. So they're like, oh, my God, like I, I need to be on in the in crowd. So why would I dare speak out against them? Taylor Swift is endorsing Biden. I, I can't turn on the Swifties. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's, it's mind numbing insanity, dude. Even here in New York, like the migrants think that the money they're getting from New York is coming from Joe Biden. Yes. And they think he's fighting for them. It's the wildest thing. They have no idea that like New Yorkers are being taxed to shit for this. Well, the the crazy thing is when I lived in the like I went when I lived in the hood, I remember Barack Obama was was just won the presidency and everybody's banging pots and pans and mm -hmm. shouting Obama on Obama. And I remember hearing an elevator. They legitimately thought Barack Obama was going to free every single black person from prison. And this wasn't just like, you know, <laughs> good talk. We're just saying that, you know, they legit say, oh, yeah, it's great. He's finally going to start freeing us from jails. We're going to start being CEOs now. And it's like, wait, do you even understand what the president does? Like the functionality of the, the president? Like, do you, they don't know that. They just thought they told us this thing. My president is black. My Lambo is blue. So I'm going to go vote for him in the like the voting booth. Very bizarre. That's how it came out. But I mean, the Democrats have really cornered their audience of low information voters and successfully so what is this is this I new york again oakland. this is oakland okay from, thank god uh, it's not new york ago. they were having a takeover oh oakland oh god oakland oh oakland's like you, uh, do you guys know about in and out burger yeah, yeah in and out burger in is like the most successful burger joint in the west coast probably i was a jack-in-a-box guy personally okay i mean in and out burger never killed anybody with their meat but uh, they have one of the most successful burger chains ever, and they had to close their Oakland location because there was something like 152 break-ins. Yeah. It's, and it's like, if that's not the ultimate sign, sign of your demise, that your policies are failing, I, I don't know what is. That and like uh, the black community also complaining while it was being closed down, like, we have to drive an hour out to get it now. Like, well... What do you want them to do? They can't risk their employees getting hurt because a couple motherfuckers in your area like to rob shit. And the sad part is, is like I would see during, I believe it was, was it Chicago or Minneapolis? I forgot which riot I was watching, but there I was would damn the near black guess community. Chicago. It was they were inside the Walmart, and there was like a black woman there saying, "What are you guys doing? Like, where are we gonna shop now? You're destroying this. This is the place we shop at. This is where we work. What do you like?" What are you doing? And then there was someone shouting at her like back saying, oh, no, we're about to run it. We're about to build our own facility. We're going to do it. Like the price is lower. The money's going to go back to the community. And it's like the community fucking <laughs> talk. I'm so sick of that one. And it's just the the sheer just ignorance to how things work. Like you're really going to give lower prices than the most successful retailer of all of American history. You're going to have a better logistics chain than them. I somehow doubt that. But they didn't think past step one, burn down Walmart. And it's sad because not the the entire community didn't think that way. It was probably just the small percentage of that community that thought, I'm angry at stuff. I don't know how to manage my emotions. Let's burn down Walmart and steal a television. They're rooting yeah. for the entire community. But the sad fact is you have a political system above them that says, you know what? We can't punish the bad actors without being racist towards the entire community. So let's just let them do whatever they want. And it's sad, but that's how you lose society. And that's equity is exactly the thing that's killing our country. Yes. Yeah. Constantly making excuses for the people causing the most issues is dragging the rest of us down. And it's sad because I don't see that in any other community whatsoever. Like I, I, I you're I, Asian. I, you're used to a normal community. Well, I just think about like, I, I couldn't fathom the idea of remember the guy, I'm not going to say his name, but the Virginia tech idiot that did that to the school. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine yeah. being a Korean and being like, wait, wait, guys, wait. Koreans have a hard time in school. Koreans have like just trying to figure out all the reasons maybe why he would do it. It's like, no, that guy's an asshole. He shouldn't have done it. What a terrible person. We should condemn him. But somehow we've gotten to a, a part in society where it's like, oh, let's. Let's protect the criminals. Yeah, especially in New York, man. Like, dude, sometimes these New York judges, they let out actual murderers or people who are wanted for murder. And then they literally blow someone away on camera in a smoke shot. Oh, that was the, the same the day man that got paroled. And the next day he ended up killing like an 11 year old yeah. boy. No, oh, that's oh, a different one. Oh, There's yeah. more than one instance, bro. This happens a lot. Fucking hey. I got to get out of here. 
and that was the thing is what came down for me is I was always like on my channel saying, I got to leave LA. I got to leave LA. They essentially built lower than a homeless shelter. It was, I forget what the, the section was, but I call them shanty towns. Huh? I call them shanty towns. Pretty much. It was a state of the art, brand new apartment complex, but it wasn't for residents. It was for just people that were considered ultra low income. Like, do you know what, um, remember when Dave Chappelle got knifed up during that show? Yeah. And the guy that had been knifed up by that same dude earlier said, hey, I recognize that guy. I was living in one of those shared living facilities and he was there and he stabbed me too. Like, that's how I recognize him. <laughs> they were building that same facility next door to me. And, you know, I had like a gated parking spot, but it's like my girlfriend would park on the street and it was almost like, wait, overnight, it became worse than any part of downtown LA. People hanging out there, following you home, begging for stuff. Uh, there was little human poo oh yeah everywhere and it happened overnight and i was like you know what i, I, I we have to move i have to leave it's not safe for her to be out there it's not safe for me to be out there let alone her so yeah that kind of like got me to finally leave the area i've been talking i've been talking trash like i was gonna leave for a while but it finally did it. it's, it's not you'll, you'll hit a point where you just you can't make excuses anymore it's it's going to get you harmed you know yeah didn't they raise the uh the grand theft value when you're shoplifting from like I don't know, like two hundred fifty dollars to twelve hundred to nine. It's been a thousand for a while. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, though, is uh, you had like I kind of knew the I was like an expert in that because I would tell people like the three things that destroyed the city or destroyed the state were Prop forty seven, Prop fifty seven, and Prop sixty four. Now some people argue with me on Prop sixty four, but forty seven was the one that made, moved all the lower property crimes two fifty to nine fifty. So it's like you could be stealing. A whole lot of crap from Walgreens, a whole lot of crap from a uh, CVS, and it's still a misdemeanor. And walk, yeah. As you know, when you go to court, they always say, "Okay, if you're charging the misdemeanor, let's not bog down the court system. Let we'll let you plea for the infraction. If it's a felony, you can plea for the misdemeanor." And that's what they constantly do in our in our yeah, the California justice system. So once you make literally everything petty theft, everything becomes an infraction. So law enforcement no longer goes after it. Prop fifty seven happened the year after, which was let's make everything that is a um. That is everything that's a violent, a violent, or is, let's let everybody out that's guilty of a nonviolent offense from jail. But it did very bizarre things to say, hey, you trafficking kids is a nonviolent offense. Oh, you detonating a device at a hospital is a nonviolent offense. Like all these very bizarre things oh. became nonviolent. So it's just you just bring everything it down. It turned into mad. What the fuck? And then Prop 64 was the one that just, you know, it legalized marijuana, but it also made it so. I remember if I was ever like working security and I caught a guy like trespassing or something and he had a small amount of coke on him. He was going down for serious time because that's like, you know, a schedule of something substance. But now that you have Prop 64 out there, a small amount that's not enough to, to say they were distributing becomes yeah. nothing. PD finds it on them. They cut them loose. So they effectively they, the entire state becomes deep blue San Francisco where people can just open use no matter what. And it's like, yeah, 64 was about marijuana, but it actually impacted everything. So now you have an entire city that isn't afraid to steal, isn't afraid to attack you, and isn't afraid to be batshit insane on whatever substances they want in broad daylight. Yeah. And it just took three propositions to effectively destroy the entire state. You know, Holland, I was talking to Ziltex about this, and he said to me, like, dude, over here, we have a $50 limit. So if you steal something over 50 bucks, you're going to jail. And that's why his country is beautiful, yeah. and ours is just slowly eroding. It's this sort of thing where the Democrats feel they want to help lower-income people, and they always disguise it under um, systematic racism and law. But frankly, as a minority myself, the second I stop dressing and acting shady, my troubles with the police somehow magically vanished. And the the thing that pissed me, I remember I worked at this this uh this like big retailer store, and I remember this one guy, a black dude comes in, he's wearing like a um deep uh, burgundy polo, a um uh, a Phillies hat that's deep blood burgundy, and he's like he's dressed like a very specific set of of blood gangster, and he's just walking around baggy jeans, everything, and then when somebody asks him like, oh, do you need any help, any help with anything? He goes, oh. Thank you for talking to me like a human being. Nobody else wants to give me service. They're treating me like a gangbanger. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you're dressed specifically like the local gang gang that is around this area. Why are you offended that you were dressed specifically? Like you, that didn't just happen by chance. That you love the Phillies, this ultimate alternate hat that's deep, uh, deep burgundy. Like 
it's ridiculous, but it's like always with the victimhood. I can't believe you're treating me this way. This is your fault for, for noticing things. I do have to say back in the days when I lived in uh, the hood of L.A., uh, the wrong color did get you shot. So I will give the benefit of the doubt there, but I totally hear you. On top of that, wearing the like gang colors and not knowing the signs or blood out blood, it also resulted into altercations. So him being like that is also sketchy. But but he but he knew though, like the 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 Phillies were the local gang, like that that was the uniform. Mm -hmm. He was doing it on purpose, but exactly. he somehow wanted to flip it on the person working there. Like, oh, your got your team is racist. That Korean is racist as fuck. Yeah, they knew who the local pyros were, so you guys are racist. And I was like, I was looking at him. I'm like, yeah, you may have that guy, that old man fooled, but I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I know what you are. Like, this is ridiculous. I gotta ask you, did you buy a bulletproof vest? No. No. I did. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I buy a vest just in case I go to the mall because around here, sometimes people settle feuds by shooting each other at the mall. And I'm just trying to buy some jeans from Buckle, baby. <laughs> That's the thing. I remember I went to um the... Oh, I forget. There was a Walmart. It was, I think it was off Slauson, it was, but it was below the 10. And I just looked it up on Google Maps. I'm like, oh, there's a Walmart. I'll be able to pick up some stuff. And I remember distinctly knowing that I didn't belong there as soon as I got out of my vehicle. I was like, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. This this is Did the bad. And I didn't leave? even know. Did you get back in the car and leave? That's what I do. I didn't want to be a bitch. So I was like, nah, let me just go in and do it. But then <laughs> when I walked into Walmart, People were kind of staring at me like I was like this zoo animal because it's like, whoa, what, what is this? This not like they're like, are they filming Shang Chi in here? What's up? Because <laughs> it was like I was an out of town Korean. Like there's Koreans that live in that part of LA and they see them, but obviously I did not belong there. So I was like, okay, let me get my thing and then go. I got in my car and I was like, yeah, never again. Now I notice I'm in a bad area. I leave. Fuck that. You could be a bitch and keep your life. Also, somebody chat said Gundam does a shop at Buckle. Bro, I buy Buckle jeans all the time. They're stylish. They fit perfectly. They have the best line of cowboy boot jeans on the market. And I really need to set off my cowboy boots with the right jeans. I feel Sorry like to interrupt. Is, I feel like you were about to say, today's, today's live stream is brought to you by... I fucking wish. <laughs> <laughs> the camera turned on. You'd be getting ass shots right now. Oh, my God. I, see, <laughs> Look at this. I've never been able to get them to do this, but it's like you do brand deals, I do brand deals. I so want my brand deal promo code to be sellout. Like use my program code sellout because they know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Maybe you support the channel. It would be funny, but I don't. The brands no, the, like, the brands don't let you have any fun. Yeah, they, they let you have no fun. All their and revisions. Frankly, I gotta do what I gotta do at this point because the trouble I get in with YouTube brands pay me more than YouTube pays. Yeah, I feel like you at some point in time. Like I, I, I remember hearing um, there was like this vlogger girl that I watched. She like reviews reviewed cars and stuff. She talked about like, oh yeah, in the beginning it's it's YouTube ad revenue, and then at the end, brand deals pay you substantially more. So it's like I feel bad wasting my audience's time, but I think for the most part, the fans, like the diehard fans of your channel, they understand. They're like, okay, you look, you're trying to not live in the hood. You're trying to do content. Might as well just indulge them. You got to do what you got to do, man. When I watched Toonami, I didn't get mad at the commercial for Charmin. When I'm waiting uh, for Goku to take out Freezer, like, fuck Charmin. No, I did. I 100% did. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I don't care about the like the, the Mattel toys. Get back to Goku getting sawed in half by Kian Zan. Let's do it. Ah, uh, the good old days. There's a balance. There's always a balance to it. But the brands doing brand deals, sometimes they can get uh, pretty tedious. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't do anything extra for them because then they'll expect it every time after that. Yeah, I, I do try to say no to the things I don't necessarily. I wouldn't use my. I do that all the time because I know that there's there's certain brand deals like I, I, they're not paying me right now, but that uh, the Factor brand deal I did, I actually liked. I liked the product. Yeah, Factor like the little, seems good. Yeah, uh, Factor. I liked. Um, what was the other thing I used? The Manscaped ad I did. I was like, oh crap! Like I actually will use that. I use Manscaped as well, buy. but they're mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no like I, I have brand deals that i just won't work with me anymore just because of the contract negotiations yes. got weird and i was like you know what this, this is not worth it like you guys are being weird like if it could just be transactional cool i'll bother my audience with it and even endorse it if i like the product but i mean then they get kind of weird and like controlling it's just like uh, you don't understand mm -hmm. what i'm doing here would yeah like uh, lawyers would you do a lawyer spot like oh Morgan yeah and the, morgan I, I would, but um, 
it's one of those things like I always gauge it between the less related it is to my core audience and what I represent, the more I want to charge. Like VPNs, I'll charge more because I don't typically use a VPN myself. So it's like a thing. Like if I'm going to bug my audience, it's got to be worth it on my end. So I wouldn't take my regular rate with like a Morgan and Morgan. It would have to be a little bit higher. But it's like, do they value me that way? I don't really care. I'd rather do no ads than an ad not worth it. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Like, uh, I don't care if I get in trouble for this. I, I don't give a shit. I'm going to say something stupid, so be ready to find me a new agency. All right, pass. Okay, got him online. Good, because uh, my agency tried to get me to do Temu or Timu, and I'm just like, no. And they're like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. Bring back the lawyers. Then Timu was like, dude, I said, I want more money for this shit. You think I'm going to do it? Yeah. And then they're like, okay, we want you to buy some shit off Temu and review it. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. It, like, you guys practically, I'm not going to say what I want to say, but chat knows, right? I'm like, no, you want me to do this? Six figures now. No, you're not doing this to me. <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. I will live with less money. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing is, like, you don't, you never want to, like, lose the integrity of your brand, like, uh, your face or your your brand for just a quick payday. Like, I think about all the, you know, the I didn't sign shit. There's no NDA. Sorry about that. Keep going. Oh, the Somebody snake oils they try to get me to push. Like, oh, yes, here's a random guy in my inbox saying, here's a thing that's going to increase your audience's virality. And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like, yes, I, I don't believe. No, no, no. It, it, the quick little, I don't care what paycheck you give me unless it's in the millions where I can retire off it. It's it's not going to be worth it. Yeah. It's sad to even be like pitch that sort of stuff. And it's hard not to like fly off the handle. Because I know people were mad that I was doing uh, the lawyer thing, but it's like, believe me, that was the lesser of the evils that were presented to me. <laughs> right. There are some really bad ones. People like trying to <clears throat> promote indie comics off their Twitter page and they want to post. It gets crazy. Well, it's, I don't mind with my, when like I have several agencies I work with, I don't mind when they give me like wild the shot in the dark. Like, we don't know if you'd, sponsor a toothpaste or whatever but i want to see what you're open to because at least they're they're still pitching me and they have me in mind for different things i'm okay with it it's just when we get like neck deep in negotiations we actually had a good brand deal that i had to i had to walk away from because at the very end they started to say oh you were dangling this money in front of you so you have to take it now and i'm like well you're getting weird about it this was not the original thing that i was that you were going to pay me to do they start adding something at the end and then say yeah. okay we'll bump yeah. up the rate a little more and i'm like See, now it makes me feel like you, you you were underpaying me in the beginning. You could always pay me that that higher amount, but now that you think that I'm going to walk away, now you'll give me the full? Like, it's 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 bit getting ridiculous. I've so had like, VPNs do that shit to me, dude. Yes. And I've walked away still. So that, I've been banned from a couple of them. And, and I and use the, VPNs. And that's the thing is you'd probably be the best person to push a VPN knowing which features you need and which features you don't. But then because they got too greedy or thought that you were a little bit too, too stupid to realize they were trying to pull one over on you that everybody loses at that point in time. Especially my bank account. I mean, <laughs> at least what do you call it? Like, I think that you have channel, like not ch yeah, channel memberships. And I feel like that would be the future. Like I know what is it? Disney content creators, they make so much more money, so much more money than me and you with less subscribers, but because their Patreons are like $20 a month and oh wow, people, they just get into it. They yeah, really get into it. they're whitelisted on their AdSense too. So like they get the, the top brand deal, not the, the top brand rate. I kill for a whitelisting. Well, the thing is, though, is they don't even get like the higher CPMs because they're getting like 10K vi views per video, but they have like one to 10, one to 10 ratios of people that view that actually will subscribe to their Patreon. So it's like this very weird um, space for them to be in. But I, I mean, at this point in time, I think you probably have this sh share the same sentiment of why do we do politics. We should have done Minecraft. We should have done Disney. We should have done like anything other than something that could possibly be offensive. Well, I can't say that I'm that much of a political guy. I'm more of a normal yeah. dude that sees some BS going on and I say something. Like I would say to you if we were working the same job in security. Hey, guy, yeah. you see what the hell Hulkle's doing? I'm just kind of nonchalant with it. I don't focus on it because I don't want to beat people over the head with shit they know that's going on and they live through. Like yeah. I might bring your attention to something, but try and frame it to be funny because Oscar Wilde once said, if you're going to tell the people the truth, you better make it funny or else they want <laughs> to kill you. True. But I would have loved to have been a game streamer. I started out doing that, actually. Game streams, mod reviews. It didn't go very well. 
And the only reason why I was switched was because of the gaming industry and gaming journalism kind of like yeah. being crap. And I got fed up and I just fell down the rabbit hole of what I'm doing now. Well, I think that most of like the OG video game streamers had eventually transitioned to something else. Like the guys that the channel that I did like a lot for a while is, you know, MXR plays. Oh, yeah. MXR, the king of clickbait porn <laughs> mods. And I remember I was like, OK, I, I like the vlogs they were doing. And then he kind of transitioned to something else. I stopped watching it. So I went back to click it. And it's like I still like the team. They seem like cool people. But I'm like, that became softcore adult content so seamlessly and i was like scrolling through it i was like good god like this is because no longer like a video gamer this is a guy that says hey some people can't access the dirty websites on the computer so here's the next best thing yeah mxr is about getting that money i'm not even gonna play it's not like me and him are friends i'll say it i wish i could do that and uh be fine because i do it tomorrow myself if i could help that's it we start a new channel pesk it's called dirty deeds done dirt cheap let's get it going set it up there later yeah, because that's the thing is, I was helping out another okay. channel who was struggling, and he was showing me his like his analytics, and I was like, "Look at all the the common theme. Like he's not even doing video game content, but all the videos that did bet like hit like over 100k views were like sexually suggestive, kind of like MXR plays is." And I'm like, "See, that's your audience. You don't even know it. Just lean into this." And it's like it's sad, but it is a not an easy path to money, but it is a path to wealth beyond your imagination. Oh, God, that sounds great. You're very inspirational. <laughs> I, I, I become one of those guys that, like, I talk to all my friends. Like, everybody that, I, that, like, was my previous employee, I tell them, like, do YouTube instead. Here's a here's not, not a, here's an easier path to money than doing regular, back-breaking, mind-numbing work. Like, this is this is difficult, but it, but it's worth it, you know? So some I'm always people don't a, believe. Like, I've done the same thing. I've told some of my family members, says, yeah, yeah, do some, uh, you know, just light work on YouTube. They don't believe about the money that you can make. And then when you tell them, sometimes they still don't believe it. But you have to tell them that this is a this is a real job. This is a production job. This is the entertainment business. Well, you one, you have to catch on. Two, you have to be on it. Right. You gotta like, have that's something. the thing. You got to well, have something. I tell people if you, this job will pay you like a surgeon, so you got to work at it as if you were trying to become a surgeon. And it's like you got to study, you got to work, you got to crank out stuff. Like it's it's a serious business. And it's like my parents and like my entire family never understood that I was like, oh, a decoy is starting a podcast. Isn't that cute? And it's like they didn't see it seriously until I was like seriously trying to shop for a home. Now, obviously, I got rejected by all the mortgage companies and I wasn't able to buy a home. But the idea that then they saw that I was seriously like, able to quit my job that I've been at for over a decade. Like they don't believe it being realistic until they see you actually doing it. You know, you know, that's actually very poignant. Like none of my ex-girlfriends believe I have anything going on. My mother treats me like I'm an idiot. It's like, oh, he's online playing games. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. But Ten then the first no one, one to ask for money. For yeah. Well, that's the thing is like my brother is a, um, is like you know, you you know donut operator. He yeah. kind of has a lot of the same qualities as donut operator. Uh, former cop, former SWAT. Um, just kind of like a, a a big burly dude, and then also like as a business owner, he has like lots of life experience. And I'm like, you're very charismatic. Here's donut operator showing you the the path to make millions, and you are the guy to do it. And I'm the person to teach you how to do it. And he's like, ah. I don't know. I, it, it seems difficult. And I'm like, you, you literally have the winning lotto scratcher. You just don't want to scratch it off because you're like, eh, eh maybe there's later. a lot of people in your life like that. I tried to get a friend of mine who's an amazing guitarist, probably one of the best guitarists I've ever seen in my life. We played music together for years. And I'm like, dude, you could do a YouTube channel, teaching people music, talking about guitars and shit. There's this guy who's nowhere near as good as you. And he gets a million views of video. Yes. Like, just go for it. Ah, oh, no, nah, that seems gay. And I'm like, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Well, what do you, I, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. I got no time. Well, that's the thing is I have um my girlfriend's sister is kind of a like a, a celebrity in her niche of what she does. I'm not trying, trying to dox her or anything like that, but she is like one of those like she's Instagram famous. And I'm like, all you got to do is do what you're doing on Instagram, but do it for the YouTube algorithm and you'll be huge. I bought her a camera. I bought her a little stand. I bought her a microphone. Like I got her set up for it because I believe in her that much. And she's basically family. So it's like, yeah, take it. It's fine. But she's like, uh, like it gets like blank page, blank page syndrome where 
She just doesn't want to start. Oh, I don't know what to record. I, I, I don't know. It's like, what the, just do what you're doing already. Well, here's the other thing that you might be doing and you don't realize it because you've become successful at it. You think yeah. anybody can do it. And after years of trying to help people do this shit and watch them go nowhere, it's technically not for everybody. You think everybody can do it. And then they crash and burn or you get them on and they're just like, you said, a blank slate. And I'm like, go, go. I'm recording. Do it now, now. Well, I don't tell everybody I know it and sad to say it's like I'm not the most attractive person, but I only tell people that I know would make a good thumbnail. Like I know my brother oh, smart is move. conventionally handsome. I know mm -hmm. my girlfriend's sister is pretty and it's like, cool, like you guys can be a thumbnail and it's instantly clickable. Like the girl that I'm working with right now, helping her along with the channel, it's because I did a video about her with her in the thumbnail and that video popped off maybe like lots of money and got like, I think over like 600,000 views. And I'm like, see, I can't put myself in a thumbnail like that. I put you in the thumbnail and that video was a hit. You can make millions on YouTube. You just have to kind of know the inner workings of it. So she's actually well ahead on it. Like she was doing videos. It got like, you know, 500 to a thousand plays. And she already had a video hit for like 60,000 views. And I'm like, see in your first month, that's phenomenal. Yeah. YouTube is, is full of thirsty dudes, man. Like yeah. Gundam model kits are slowly being taken over by cute Japanese girls. <laughs> like and it, it, you can't get it, mad at that. It, it's genius. I, 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 I like um piano covers of video game music, but there's this one channel that's killing it. She's actually very talented, but all it is is her wearing the video game outfits with her cleavage out in the thumbnail. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not even mad at that. You're doing the YouTube game the way that I can't. Yeah, it's like being crippled trying to run a race. I mean, at least we can win this race. That that that's not possible to win. At least we can find a way. Like I just have to work twice as hard. Like your videos are like ten times as put together with funny gags and animations, and like you do a lot to make your videos good enough. You could just show your cleavage if you were like a triple D or whatever that is. But if I was a hot chick, man, it'd be over for a lot of these bitches in the game. That's just the, that's what's real. I mean, yes. Would you be Pokimane? Probably. Oh, I crush Pokimane. Oh my God, today, you guys. Oh my God. I spilt my juice on my feet. And then I just start showing them off like, oh my God, it's so hot. The dog is coming over to lick him. Get out of here, Scruffy. I'd be rich. I'd be balling so hard like the mayor. I, I'm a little surprised how much thought this was. You already had this planned. Actually, no. I just saw the top of my head. Future ex-wife. It's off the top of my head, dude. When I'm on YouTube, I have to cut back who I am substantially to avoid being banned. Like, I specialize in off-the-cuff, fast, boom, 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 jokes, go, go, go. Well, the funny part is the only reason I know about Pokimane and that guy, uh, DSP, is because of you. Like, I don't really delve into that side of the internet. <laughs> this is another one. I, got the, the, I said the same thing with DSP. He, um, he, dr he drug me in the snort text. And now I'm DSP as a... Uh, He's one of my favorite content creators now because he's such a hot mess. Oh. It's like he's my reality TV show. I'm now in it to see where it goes from here. Does Cat leave him and take everything and he becomes homeless? Does Cat leave him and DSP goes back to living with his parents? Does Cat leave him and then she mysteriously ends up dead? <laughs> you know, the, the possibilities are endless. It's like your guilty pleasure at this point in time. You don't like him, but you can't turn. It's a car crash. You can't turn away from it. You do, you're too invested at this point in time. I can't help myself. There's nothing left for me. That's me and um, 90 Day Fiance during the uh, quarantines. That's I, what I call Phil, my 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Richard View Tech USA stole that joke from me. <laughs> oh, uh, do you ever suffer, like, as a, a successful YouTuber from other channels basically recreating your videos and posting? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, dude. I I'm had like, no a idea that was. I had That's no idea. Was a, huh? They're out there stealing right now. That's a whole ecosystem, bro. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, there's a channel that I'm not trying to create drama. I don't ever. I don't worry. Be involved don't have in to. YouTube drama because mm -hmm. it's just it gives you viewership that you'll never retain. But there's a channel that's much larger than mine that a person that I know in, in real life was like, "Hey, this guy gave you a shout out," and I was like, "What? I don't even know this person." I looked at his catalog. Whatever video I do about, about internet drama that does well, about two weeks later, he'll do the same video in the same order using the same references, but essentially just cut my face out and put his face in instead, have his wow. commentary. I know exactly who you're talking about. I'm not going to say, but I know exactly who you're talking about. 
That guy has less fucking effort than the people who jack my bitch ass. It, it, it's crazy that because I was like, I never want to be like I always wanted to be first and stuff. I couldn't imagine me sitting back and be like, oh man, I hope somebody else has somebody smaller than me has a hit that I can steal and use as my own content. And then I see other people that like review um Futurama or Bojack Horseman, and he was talking about how people use AI to just basically recreate his videos. And I'm like, damn. There is an ecosystem like that. And I thought, I know my content is quote unquote low effort, but not to that degree. Well, here's the thing, because you're a normal guy. I could tell that much. And as a normal guy, you don't think in the sense of a content creator, really. Here's how I could tell. You're trying to help everybody you can get somewhere to do this. That's yeah. the first thing. Because once you're in this game long enough, you find out a lot of people in this shit for themselves. You find out a lot of people you think your friends aren't your friends, that they actually hate you. And you find out later they hate you. You find out people ripping your shit. You're like, what, bro? God damn. And the only thing you could really do is try not to be bothered by it. Because yeah. letting it get to you, that's when you start to lose it. I do get bothered when people get more views off of shit I've done, though. That hurts. Yeah. Back that when hurts I worked me. at Drama Alert, that was one of the things that we had to be uh, very cognizant about talking about any of our stories because people could steal them and then it would be the difference between having a two million view video and a one million view video so we're talking like ten thousand dollars difference it's real you don't, money you don't even think about that as like i don't like you were the one who told me to stop posting a lot of back when i was in the twitch dot wars yeah. i was giving it away on twitter like i would just post yes. the shit i find i'd be watching hours of twitch dot shit for the best funniest clips and i'm like sharing them on twitter and i was feeding an entire ecosystem of thought videos in the commentary community and had no idea well, I do know that I, I I am in the the wake of like um what is it the the Daily Sneed is a very good content aggregator and I'll oftentimes use content because he brings it up and I'm like oh I, I kind of have a video angle for this and honestly I felt like my take to YouTube was Twitter but on YouTube that you don't have to click through like that my content's always like hey here's this reference here's this reference here's the information here's a joke I wrote like you know that 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 type of thing so it's like I understand that I am doing it somewhat like them but not entirely lazy where it's like you're not doing any of your own research you're just watching my video and almost reacting to it but not crediting me crediting me for it because if you watch my content i have background music and i was like wait the vid the clips he's playing has background music and it. it's my fucking background music and i was like wait go dig deeper and it's like before he even credited me on anything he was just following and just downloading he things probably that got like called out at that point so he then gave you a shout out and the thing is, those I even thought about like in a very light watermark, putting that person's name is a bitch on a watermark <laughs> in my video, just so he accidentally uploads that to his thing. But I'm like, you know what? That'll be a drama. People will talk about it. I'll say something. He'll reply. Well, we'll our audiences will grow, and then mm -hmm. then I'm like a drama YouTuber, and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think I need that. Like maybe if my my views are waning and I just needed a big influx of cash before Christmas or something, I'd consider it. But I'm like, nah. Nothing's really below me, but the, I, I just don't want to do it. Some of those guys, they use that watermark way overdue, and they steal that content themselves. But yeah, having that's your, the worst. your brand, like your branding on it, that's fine. Those guys that are on Twitter that like put it right over the middle of the picture of the video like six, seven times, I can't do it. You know, a video that. that they took off Instagram right. or TikTok and act like they're the one that owns it. Like, get the exactly. fuck out of here. A watermark over somebody else's watermark always drives me nuts. But I just put my watermark in the corner that you could crop it out if you wanted to. But people were telling me it took me forever to find you. Like, I couldn't go on YouTube and see and type in funny sounding Asian dude. Like, I just didn't know how to find you. And I, it's like, okay, so if you someone reposts my clip lazily, they can find me on YouTube. This is where it originated. That's all I have it for. It's almost annoying to pop it in every video, but. It go with what works, I guess. Yeah, it's all promotion at the end of the day. But I guess I should do shit like that then, because here's here's how I go. Like I start going on these videos, and they take me days usually. If it's a big video, I hate big videos. And Here we go, by Chad. the time this, this is a Gundam, a Gundam exclusive, how he makes, how he lives in Adobe. Oh, well, why don't you tell us about Drama Alert again? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna take those shots now. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, like I don't even think about this stuff, and I get so tired and drawn out, and then Pesco's. Bro, you need to remind to tell people to subscribe to your channel. And I'm like, I just finished the video. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> well, my favorite thing is, is uh I um my because my 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 mentality is I don't like when YouTubers you start off a video and in 60 seconds in, like and subscribe, but it's like what the fuck? I've never like I've never I haven't watched a video. It's like you asking, hey, 
before you get your food, make sure you tip the waiter. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know if I want to give you my thing. So at the end of it, I try to say, oh yeah, if I've earned your subscription, you watch this long. Hopefully you subscribe or whatever. But then a while back at my old job, I hired this guy straight from Nigeria, was probably one of my best employees, a good friend. Like we still hit like Vegas together and stuff. But I had him over here, like in my studio. He came to visit after I moved and I had him record my sign off. Like, if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe, blah, 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 whatever. But, it, but it's him, this giant buff Nigerian dude. So it's like, whenever I forget to do it, I'm just going to cut him in, in there to hope that nobody notices. Like, wait, what the hell? Like, I thought about doing that actually, but then I forgot to do it. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's just something to pop in there, and everybody's like, "Well, I guess you could probably go like on what is it a uh, is it a Fiverr where you can hire people from like other countries just to to read a script for you?" Yeah, then yeah. I could pull a PewDiePie and have them say "deaf to all." You know <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got them working on a pitch deck for me right now. Wait, what? Did you, Willie? I thought those guys were dead. Secret secret sauce. Oh Lord. I we couldn't outsource to like an Asian. We had to get like people from India. Nothing against Indians. We'll see in a couple of days. They're gonna show up with uh with their finished product. Please God, let it be good. Yeah. <laughs> um actually we can talk about this because I was pretty interested in this. The uh Francis Scott Key Bridge. Everyone's mm. been checking that out. Um Duke, what do you think about this? You think it's a cyber attack? You think it's a terrorist attack? You think it's just a fuck up? Uh, I think that after someone left in my comment section, they said, um, they said, you'll see right before it hits the bridge, like the lights go off, and then you see a giant smokestack go up and lights come on, and then it's like it's already lined up with the bridge. Like you'll see it right there, the smokestack. Yeah, right like, oh. I thought it was like them accelerating, like they lose power and it accelerates into the into the pillar. And I'm like, wow, that that's cyber attack. But no, that's them panicking as it's they lost power. That's the break. That's like the acceleration to go in reverse for them. And it was already too late. There's it's too much mass to do it. So honestly, I think it's just ineptitude. Apparently, this um this same uh, cargo ship had hit the uh oh had hit the the port earlier and it's like yeah their their team is inept like i think it was like 22 guys from india that are overworked and oh. they're, they're still <laughs> stuck on it right now so i think that you know you never never chalk up uh something to malice that could be attributed to stupidity, stupidity. whatever that yeah. that's the like, problem with like our world today everybody thinks everything's a conspiracy right everything i thought guys. that this explains the racist indian memes i was laughing at on twitter I didn't look them up. They were just in my feed. I couldn't help but laugh. I'm a victim as much as you are. And, and that's the thing is like, there was something they could have done to stop this. Like they showed another bridge in my video where they had, um, they called it like the, the, the bumpers around it, but also the dolphins around it. So there's a, there's a pillar that you would hit before you would hit the pillar. And it's like, yeah, maybe it would have still caused damage, but maybe not to bring the entire bridge catastrophic down you know that's party. that's what they did to uh i live in pensacola Ooh. and they uh, yes. had a they had a bridge that in 2020 the barge hit it and it totally took it out so this time around they built it they built double the bridge and they put these huge like inflatable barriers right around the uh, the pylons and don't the worry is, we're paying for it yeah absolutely ridiculous but no they, they the thing is like they had the the fenders and the dolphins around the electrical cables around the bridge but not the bridge so they obviously thought about this they just never implemented it so it's like probably cost yeah. cutting ineptitude across the board i'm so glad the secretary of transportation pete Buttigieg, is very focused on racist bridges and not us not starving in the in i the saw area. that i saw i didn't even watch it i just read a caption and i was like i'm out i can't do this today i just can't yeah, in fact I, i've got it right here for y'all so we can take <laughs> what the fuck is i can't do this today me Oh, where is it? Just play it. Just do it. There he goes. If an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or it would have been, uh, in New York was was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. How? Um, obviously. I don't think How? we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality. And I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it, which is why the Please reconnecting stop it. communities I can't. that billion Please. dollars. I only have so many brain cells. This well, is like when I saw math is racist. I can't People take this shit no more. People actually wanted this goober to be president. Of course they did. They're retarded. 
It's like the people on Instagram that sit there and go, oh, if Biden got rid of student loan debt, that would fix inflation. And then I go to this girl's fucking Instagram page. Of course, she's a college graduate still paying off her shit. But she's also spending thousands of dollars to travel all over the world and feed her dog little cakes. Fuck you, bitch. (laughs) Well, the thing is, always like this guy legitimately... Uh, he's he's like college educated is in front of a, a crowd of other college educated people saying yeah the engineers back in the 1800s thought well we can make this this bridge 18 feet or 25 feet but you know what f those puerto rican kids from underprivileged schools trying to make it to the bridge make it 15 feet like that he legitimately thinks that happened how do they come up with this like it doesn't seem real it's just recreationally offended. Like I know people like this in person where you probably do over New York city, where they have nothing better to do, nothing real to do other than just make up. Yes. Things that might've been an aggression towards your people. Nonsense. Uh, you got more dude. I can only take so much. This, this was actually the video from the, the bank when it went in the, and the guy's commentary is actually pretty oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. You'd be, what the bro, fuck? You'd be surprised. What the fuck? I thought he was going to have something eloquent on the level of like Charles Dickens that would revolutionize the way I look at the world. And it's literally, what the fuck? I could have said that. I said it in fact when I saw it. Oh. I'm sorry, Decoy. Um, I'm struggling here today. It's been a rough I mean, week. It's been a very rough week. We've uh, we've really lowered the bar as to what qualifies as content now. Because I obviously have a hard time saying, oh, I found a, a funny video. I want to do a video on it. But I'm like, ah, I don't really have enough to say about it. So I'll skip it. Even if it makes a good thumbnail, I want to do a video on it. But I mean, apparently all I had to say is do a reaction face for the YouTube. Yes. Say, what the heck? And then yeah. there, there's that's that's transformative. Look, that's my content, guys. Look like you're scared. Look like you're crying. Like it's the sniper wolf meta. It's the Mr. Beast, but don't do the soy face anymore. Now he's uh, doing the smiley face, the AI imprinted uh, smiley face. YouTube is up my dick and around the corner like a colonoscopy about AI, and I don't use it. But Mr. Beast can AI himself into like looking like some weird mannequin human. But that's not him. I thought that was him. No, it's uh, it's one picture that they keep manipulating. I, you can actually see when they he he started changing his thumbnails. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. No, because because I I like almost not religiously, but I really watch Mr. Beast as like the pace car for whatever the current YouTube meta is. Like if you want look at my thumbnails over time, they pretty much just evolve slightly, but they always kind of follow what you're seeing on the YouTube homepage because it definitely favors certain things over other ones. Yeah, you're thinking about this in a way I don't. I'm like, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. He's got, oh, I need right, to look right like I'm not. This is when he's doing the smiley, and then he gets to a certain point where he stops doing the uh, the soy face. All right, I'm going to do this when I thought nails. Yeah, that's what, this one right here. Like, the f- comment, and subscribe. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> he had an article out the other day that uh, said that if he takes an hour out of his day to go on a date with his girlfriend, he would bill that as losing a hundred thousand dollars. Get, get this. No it. more. No more, Mister Beast. For me. get it out of here. <laughs> Be gone with this. This devil worship. <laughs> and he said, "Oh, I sleep in my office. Like we all don't do that." I know. <laughs> I passed out last stream in my office, Mister Beast. Jesus. I'm not working hard enough then. I, I do two videos in a day and they're only like four to five minute videos. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to take a vacation. I, I'm working too hard. I uh, I have been adopted by the Philippines. I have been asked to move there. They're like, Gundam, you could pass for a Filipino. And I'm like, I'm thinking about it. You know, America's not looking too good. It's weird when my Asian friends are like, dude, you got to get out of America. And then they show me crap going on in New York I didn't know about. And I'm like, oh my God, maybe I am in danger. <laughs> So one thing I saw that I was I was considering doing is have you heard about the uh, the nomad visa they have over in Japan right now? No, but tell me about it. <laughs> well, if you make I think it's over 80K a year and you're self-employed or can be remote work, they will give you a visa to live there for like six months. So wow. you can go over to Japan, cost of living is very low, very peaceful. Oh, it is. And honestly, I think that it would be like a business expense for like me or you, where it'd be like, hey, I'm doing research for the channel. I'm looking at stuff over there. So yeah, go live in Japan six months and it's like not on the government's dime, but they, they allow you to do it. 
I have been thinking about possibly living in Japan simply yeah. because the houses are cheap. I've been learning Japanese oh, nice. and uh, things are looking bad here yeah. with uh, Bidenomics. Yes. Bidenomics. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Like that, uh, that bridge crashing, that's Bidenomics. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, I, I think that, it, what is it? You can even get like a very thin Japanese home, like in a downtown area that has like walking distance from everything. And it's like very, very cheap compared to what we can afford over here because yes, Bidenomics is wrecking the housing market for us. People are letting me know that uh, the Japanese hate foreigners. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm not ignorant of that. Yeah. I'm not stupid. Where I think we're going to go to Japan. And they're going to be like, ah, Isagundo kum, hajimashite, <laughs> you know? They'll probably like, oh, great, another guy, Gene. But I don't know how to say that in Japanese. He's seen enough Johnny Somali to know exactly what goes down. Yeah, Johnny there. Somali really did a number for anybody the wrong shade of brown. I'm uh, this skin tone, <laughs> but the black community is very upset with me. They're letting me know that I've been whitewashing myself. And I'm looking in the mirror like, what? And then my designer's like, I do my best to make sure that the character matches your skin tone. What do they want? I'm like, I don't know. Well, it's... um. I remember I had friends that like black friends that went to Japan like a long time ago before Johnny Smalley went over there and they're like yeah like they're very racist like he said I tried to get off of the, of the off of the train in the wrong city and their security like their police just showed up body check me back in like no you don't belong here and it's like oh, <laughs> doesn't uh, surprise me let me uh, get a couple of these super chats we've got some big Fire super chats that came in nice. real quick CF with the Canadian $125. Oh, yeah. Here's a bit of coin to help you hire Snake Plissken to get you out of NYC. You'll need it. If yeah. only Kurt Russell would take the job. Thank you so much, CF. Uh, Sheep Sidian with the $50. Uh, I'm going to spoil the manga, and I'm drawn right now. It's an amogram story involving people I know. I almost wrapped up the first chapter. Your part doesn't pop up until chapter three, but you're in. I'm doing it all solo dolo, so give me some time. Well, at least you're paying me for the uh, <laughs> the use of my uh, likeness. Thank you. Uh, DJN with the 50. Thank you, Gundam, for being so real and funny. Here's some cash to get out of New York fun. God We're bless you, DJN. Everyone's going to get you out of there, boy. It's between New York and Florida. Come I mean, on, not New York. I'm sorry. Texas and Florida. Because at least in Texas, they'll let me shoot my assailants. No, man, those people in at the Florida. border shooting people to try to uh, uh, protect their land, and they're doing, like, jail time right now. Oh, what? Yep. Guess I'm going to Florida. <laughs> yeah. You can, the, the cops here don't mind if you shoot as long as you're at your, in your home. Yeah, the, the police chief is like, we prefer you shoot them. Yeah. Oh, yeah like, <laughs> the sheriff. He's like, You'll save the taxpayer money, and I will send you to a safety class to make you a better shooter. I'm all for it. God bless America. Uh, Shamash with the 50, another to escape the New York fund. God bless you, Shamash. Damn it, I, I just need to tell all my, my subscribers I live in New York now. I don't, but maybe I'll get more, more super chats. New York is catching up with uh, California, sadly. <laughs> she was sitting in with the $20. My brother, my friend, I got jumped by nine crips. Oh we God. split up. My brother took off through the apartments, but he took off oh to God. another direction. I rolled under the Cadillac. Then we all went to school bruised up the next day. I swear that was, I, I thought that story was just going to be a retelling of the uh, Boys in the Hood scene. <laughs> I, I saw that coming. Uh, thank you, Sheep City. Man, uh, hood action. I could go into hood action, but we're not going to do that because I'll slow this down. Forgive me. Tattle tells Stranger with the $40. Is that my favorite Asian man with my favorite guy in a mecha helmet? I you know, I actually have a giant Gundam helmet now. Oh, nice. That I wear around the house to truly fulfill my fantasies of being this character. <laughs> Turn into the um, the the bobblehead Gundam. What? Uh, here we go. The happy there face. Oh, yeah, happy face that's Gundam. Sick. Uh, the money face. Uh, <laughs> the money oh my god, you guys! You're so generous. See if I was a chick, it'd be way better. JRB donated ten dollars. Thank you so much. Captain Spire also donated ten dollars. Decoy, Alfonso Rachel has been a YouTuber for almost 10 years. Any platform he gets on, a no views. And when he appears on big channels, that video gets almost no views. Can someone be that targeted? Who's this I guy? I don't know if you don't even Rachel. know. I, I, I heard from Tim Pool saying there's one magical name you can't even say aloud without getting demonetized because it's like it's, it's in reference to some like 
was a court case or some legal battle or whatever. Like there were hot words like during the lockdowns, you couldn't say COVID. So that's true. I don't know. Yeah, like you couldn't say COVID, but fucking H3H3 H3 could have a whole video called COVID idiots. And it was fully monetized. So, so the thing that I never did. Do you watch any of like Ben Shapiro stuff? No, I do. Uh, so after the attack happened over in um in Israel with the um the rave, the day the not the day after like there was some days between I think it was like a weekend he did a video and on his thing he's literally showing you on YouTube like on a live premiere video of a I believe it's an Indian man or a Filipino man literally being beheaded with a spade like a tiny shovel oh, boy. they're beheading him and it's like wait this is YouTube not live leak like how is Ben Shapiro saying this and then he's censoring like he's beeping out the f word and i'm like wait what weird realm does ben shapiro's channel show, exist in above mine and yours where he can't say the f word but he can show us a guy being beheaded with a shovel yeah. well, well i'll tell you exactly uh, what it is it's being whitelisted in the news category as having um educational or informative content but you have to actually have like a media outlet so he would yeah. use the what is it the um, I forget the caller, the Daily Caller, oh. as his media outlet. Same way the Blaze does it as well. They're whitelisted. Uh, this was a problem back in like 2018 when they, after Trump was elected, they wanted to make sure all these smaller independent news sites weren't getting the same traction as the large guys. Because mm -hmm. to be quite real, when we when I worked at Drama Alert, we were number six in the entire world in the yeah. news category. And once they changed that, it bumped all the way down to like 20th pretty much killed the channel to tell you the truth after a few years but that's why uh that's why some that's why major outlets can do horrific terror stories and still have monetization yeah because i because i realize that if i play a video from twitter that's like you know something like a car crash or whatever that'll get demonetized but if i play fox news's coverage of that same <clears throat> video because it has their labels around it that's perfectly fine. Yep. Same video, but it's got the news label on it or whatever. I try not to walk those lines because I usually get nailed for weird shit on this platform, and that's why I hate it. By the way, I did see something funny. Give me clout, please. I feel like Gundam's a foot, dude. What a bro. Uh, I love those grippers, kids. Uh, Mr. Z Wizard donated $15. Listening to you guys talk about the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Y'all should have named the stream Quality Common Sense Entertainment. Y'all making way more sense than old PD Boudigay. Well, maybe we'll we'll start a podcast Buttigieg. like uh, Tim Pool or whatever. That'll yeah, be our next project together. It, it's crazy to think how much podcasts make compared to YouTube channels. Like I am probably gonna try to dip my toe into like producing one just because of the conversions are different. But good God, like. Channels like Tim Pool, Tim Cast, IRL, like they are just, they're, they're like, it's alchemy. They're making money out of nothing. <laughs> right. There, he, he's doing a hell of a job. He's in a new, uh, I don't know if y'all heard about this. Uh, I, I told this Gundam earlier. He's in a new uh, little spat with Drea De Marteo, which was the girl from yeah. The Sopranos, the OnlyFans girl. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, he trends on, t on Twitter so much because he's like, He's a public figure now. It's pretty insane, insane that you can just be a skateboard guy that worked for Vice News, and now you are the news. Like, you a, a public figure. It's crazy. Uh, uh, I guess there's something to grift my way into. Let's go. I say Minorities for Common Sense, the podcast of tomorrow. I know Camelot went down to his compound a few weeks ago before he went to the NASCAR thing. He said it was Tim Cass has a ass. compound? He does. Yeah, he's got a whole compound, bro. Yeah, oh actually, I was able to visit it because they invited me on that pop culture crisis with oh, really? um, cool. Brett and Mary. It was cool. Like it's like you know, um, I, I'm not. I guess I'm not, not the bit like the best podcast host, but I had a good time. They're they're nice people. Got to meet meet Tim for a brief second, but he literally like not doxing his location, but it's like a large compound. <laughs> like he has an entire thing out there, and it's it's impressive that you know one guy his ad revenue was paying for all these salaries, this giant plot of land, all this professional equipment because, you know, pop culture crisis, it, it's a good show, but it's like, they don't, they don't make money. Like it's just, it's just under Tim, you know? I just saw a comment that says my channel is turning right wing, <laughs> but what <laughs> makes me right wing? That's what we, that's, 
That's what I want to know. That's the question. If I sit there and say little kids should have graham crackers instead of being talked to about gender, I'm on the far right. Oh, well, you're an alt-right extremist. Or if I make fun of Joe Biden getting lost on stage, come on. You can't look at that and not laugh. That shit's fucking funny. Nope. You don't want to right troll makes fun of the president. When my grandfather didn't know where he was, guess what? I ripped into him twice as hard as Biden. <laughs> and he never <laughs> said I was right wing. <laughs> but he didn't know my name. So he was a lot like Biden. He'd go, Tony, what are you doing? And I'm like, Grandpa, my name's not Tony. Uh, sorry. This okay, let's see. got him in trouble right here. Women deciding to be hookers instead of having real jobs is an arc. I didn't expect feminism to take. She was Where have you said, been, Tim Paul? Feminism took this arc years ago. I was she, fighting on the front well, lines of the titty wars in 2016. Well, the thing you got to know is about Tim Pool. He's not engaged. Well, he's engagement farming, not as a troll, but he'll drop troll comments on there just to get engagement because he knows people will be pissed off and it's it's good for his business. It's like, yeah, oh, I need to troll. On Twitter, out. Which, she flipped out on this one. She made all kind of Instagram posts on on it talking about it in fact i've got a video that i'm going to play tim Paul her. did her such a favor because i had no idea who the fuck she was oh, yeah. yeah oh yeah definitely put her back into the uh the zeitgeist and i'm sure people subscribe to her only fans just because they found out through this yeah. so he kind of did her a favor and if she if it wasn't true they wouldn't be making her this angry um this is a uh. typical one of her simps uh talking about the cat suit she used to wear I'm in the really, Sopranos. I had so much of it. You barely? I thought that I lost a lot of it in my fire, but I actually just found my cat suit. That bitch had a hard cat life. Suit still? I have the fire. You suit. want to make some more money on OnlyFans. I want to sell it. Do customs. Oh boy. Do customs in it. Just, I mean, I probably. So oh, right let me get my pants off for this. Situation. I mean, it is such a bukiak rider. <laughs> it's, it's a squat OnlyFans. rider. It's OnlyFans. It goes insane. Have a, you have the authentic Adriana Hello Cassidy. Hello over his lap right I now. I know. That's, you have, you have the key to the lost city to make unlimited money. You might have to request I, it. I might be one of the dudes requesting it. Get me crawling across the floor. Get this out of here. Yeah. Looking like yeah. Madonna. And you want me to pay to see you naked. How dare you, madam? <laughs> she, she's going to lose her house, Gundam. What are you talking it, about? The OnlyFans saved her house in, like, what, an hour? Yeah. She was I didn't like, know I that many people want to see her naked. Sopranos. I had I, I really don't understand why people subscribe to that stuff and they're so successful. Like these girls making millions a month. H how? How? Well, that's only the how top one percent. Like her making millions makes sense because she was on Sopranos yeah. and that had a big following. And I guess a lot of people want to see her naked. But like you're seeing her on the decline. Like that's not a, a boon, you know? Like oh, I get to see this chick I always want to see naked when she's fifty something and. Looking rough as Madonna. Let me get out the Jergens hand lotion. I can't wait. I don't get it. They're making so much money. It's nuts. I don't, I just don't understand it. Maybe, maybe I'm a boomer now, but I don't get it. Yeah, bad baby it. was making, uh, I think when she turned 18, she made like oh, fucking $8 million in the first month. Yeah. Millions. It was, it was ridiculous. Oh God. Don't tell me about that. The girl who literally got a career off of saying, catch me outside. Catch like, me outside. Jesus, save us all. Oh, whatever oh, we happened to stealing got, your porn? We got another $100 donation from all All right. right. America first. Right when your donation incoming, welcome to the all right. It didn't take much to get there. I went I from drag shows to ending up right wing in the span of, what, five years? I remember the first time I got shown as alt right is one of Hassan's friends. I don't know who he is, but he's also a big YouTuber apparently. And someone said, "Hey, he did a video on you." Oh, and there's a I video. know who it is. Yeah, and there's I'm in the thumbnail, but I'm in the thumbnail next to like Brett Cooper and like I was a like Candace Owens. Like it was other like million subscriber YouTube channels, and then me. And I'm like, I'm the only guy that doesn't belong up there. But I'm glad I'm on the the. <laughs> uh, What's what's that? The Mount Rushmore of conservative Rushmore. YouTubers now. Like I, it was very bizarre, but it's good to know, I guess. Yeah, you was destiny. Was you destiny? wanted to? No, it wasn't no. destiny. Is a friend of girl? Hassan Piker. No, a friend, bro. It's one of those like little kids that have curly hair and they look like they've never done a pull up in their fucking life. Like a dude that literally, if you wanted to, you could body him. Those type of dudes, the far liberal, very effeminate, and this is coming from a man who's worn a lot of makeup. I'm a makeup artist on the side, not anymore. <laughs> 
but like, but it's coming from me that you look very effeminate. It's true. Yeah, he did one on me too. Like, I don't even know what the beef is. All of a sudden, decoy voice is fucking the far right. He's Asian. Oh my god, decoy didn't want to stay in a neighborhood where he could be stabbed by a fentanyl needle. What a fucking bigot. Oh my god. He wanted to protect his girlfriend from a possible robbery. How can this continue? Ban him from YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> These are the people we're dealing with. Well, it's like it's that uh that Rick and Morty thing. It's like you booze me nothing. I've seen what makes a cheer. And if you almost mid like a, if you were like my subscriber on YouTube, I'd almost be worried. Yeah. Uh, we just got another hundred dollar donation. Damn. I'm Y'all gonna be rich. Be gross with a hundred dollar donation. Screw it. I want to be on the red notice. I like the stream better with a more sober Gundam. Also, I'm what? happy you didn't OD and bubble two weeks ago. Yeah. Thanks to Stu for the hard work. Yeah. Quality content beats FNT hands down. P.S. Can you get on open bar with Drinker again? Uh, he wanted me on like two weeks ago, but I, I think I fell asleep on oh. one of them. And then Maybe. the other one I was editing. What is Is that casual Drinker? Yeah, the... Oh, drunk yeah, the drinker. critical drinker. There we go. Uh, no, his, critical drinker. Yeah, no, I, I love that guy's channel. I, I did a video that kind of covered something he covered, and I even put uh, in the comments, I was like, I wonder if he's going to watch this. He never replied. I was very sad. I'll talk to him for you. Yeah. <laughs> you do well. Have you ever been on FNT, the Friday Night Tights Nerd Rodics channel? I have. This is probably the like the second channel I've like guested on the internet and like the probably the largest channel I've guested on. You're going to blow up after this for live streams, my good man. They're just going to drag you everywhere. Before you know it, you'll be as tired as me. <laughs> yeah. And the thing yeah. is, I, I it's um, I'm probably the most like quiet person in real life. So I, I feel like in especially with the like the uh, live streams with like multiple people, I feel like I just kind of seep in the background. I don't, I don't really do too well on them. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to uh, shine through a lot of people, to be real. Well, a lot of over-talking. And, and that's the thing is uh, the guy Brian from the Whatever Podcast, especially when I was pretty local to Santa Barbara, he he was like, inviting me on there. And I was like, oh, that's kind of like a, not a dream come true, but it's like, oh, it's cool that I'm getting recognized to go on this very large, like, you know, several million subscriber podcast. But I'm like, I kind of feel like I'm going to fall in the background. I'm going to get in the background of some like some E thought and some conservative chick arguing. And I'm just going to be sitting there back in the background quietly. Like, Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, this is weird. I like Thank the God whatever I'm not podcast. A face. They, but they, a lot of people are fighting for their chance to shine. They, but everybody, you know, needs their moment on there, but there's a lot of girls sometimes that just, you could tell they're acting a little bit more. And I don't really like that. I like more the real, well, you're real not getting stuff. real no more. Social media is deteriorating into being as fake as Hollywood. Like Twitch has an award show now. I'm sure YouTube's going to have an award show, or it already does. Oh, they have their events. They're very, they're very fake. But I, I just worry. Like, um, I don't, I don't know this girl, but it's like I've, I've messaged her on a, on Twit or Twitter where she just happened chance like guested on the whatever podcast, and she's in the background. I forget who he is. It's this is black guy with a beard, and then there's Adam Twenty Two from the Don't Jumper podcast. They're arguing and like Adam storms off, but then she's just kind of sitting there quietly in the background. I'm like, I don't want to be in this, in like the shot of some viral moment of somebody yelling at somebody else. And then that's like, oh, that's what I know you from. You're the guy that was in the back of that. <laughs> oh, the second the you. camera pans to you, you just start screaming, stab that motherfucker. Something <laughs> yeah. wild. Yeah. No, Fluffy, I'm not actually moment. stabbing somebody. No, Fluffy, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's like Sorry. that time that, um, what was it? Uh, Fousey was with Adam 22 and he was going crazy and he was uh, out of his mind yelling at him and then Adam made a shirt of it where he was just him sitting there and looking straight forward where Fousey was just yelling his fucking face off. And, where's and that's Fousey? Because that's what I want to know. Where's Fousey? Isn't he I love like, Fousey. He's in like medical care right now, right? Like he had a meltdown. No, he got out. We got, he got out, out but I haven't seen him. Like he hadn't done any streams and I've been looking, you know, to see I thought he'd come out and do like a big kick stream with like Aiden Ross or something like that, but he's been real quiet. I gotta say, I prefer crazy Fousey. <laughs> I'm just that toxic. Off the meds, Fousey. Yeah, that's the best Fousey. That's raw, untapped Fousey. That's the way God intended him to be. See, and it's like if he never went off his rocker and became crazy Fousey, you wouldn't have the taste for that. You'd probably like him just being normal. And it's like, I don't ever want to get to the point where like the No Jumper podcast. Remember when he had Abba Atlas from Abba and Preach on there? 
Mm-hmm. I really like that. I, I gained something from that as like a online personality. Like I listen to them. I'm like, wow, that's so much insight there. But now all you think about with the No Jumper podcast is like people spitting on each other and getting in fist fights and people walking off the show. Like yeah. it's become people like running a Jerry Springer. With knives and stuff like that. That one time you ran in with that fake gun. I went. To, I've been down to his shop before. It's like oh, cool. that was one of the first times I went to LA. Was during VidCon. They were nice. Um, I just couldn't believe they filmed it all in that little store. I have no idea what happened or what's going on. Who's involved? Oh, shame. It's just it's a it's a a a BMX podcast that turned into a rapper podcast that now is just a drama factory. Which you know it makes sense, but. It's different. Now. If you go down the rapper path the p- pipeline, you're gonna go into drama. That's just all there is to it. As far as I think. think, they all gotta act hard and they got like their identity to protect and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's just, it is what it is. And then everyone gets, you know, you get a little profile b- built up, and then they go on their own. And a lot of the times, people don't they don't really transfer their own uh, career outside of what they were known for for the first time. That's why I try to keep the crazy moniker up. So that way, if I do something real crazy, people will be like, well, he's just being himself. I mean, he's always said from the beginning that he's a piece of shit. So, you know, I knew this day would come. And everybody would be cool with it. Yeah, I never try to like, claim I'm more intelligent than I am. I'm just kind of this random dude online. Just like how you said, where the same things I'm saying on my channel is what I was saying in my office with my coworkers, just being a regular guy. I, mm-hmm. I have no expertise in anything other than just yes. experiencing shit. Yes. Like, uh, I am experiencing a very bad time in New York under Democrats. That is fuck all to do with being alt-right. It has a lot to do with my economy, my city going down the drain, crime going up and feeling like, oh, they could stop me from having tented windows, but let's not stop the guy stealing from the store. That's where the real focus needs to be. The asshole with a pimped out ride. Well, that's the video that I want to do is where there's that guy. I forgot what city it is. I have it on my desktop, but um, he is an old, like he's a hundred and something year old man. He's in a wheelchair and they keep on graffitiing up his wall. He's too old to paint it. So they're going to throw him in jail because he has so many fines. Oh my God. But they're not going to stop the guys graffitiing his, his wall. Just the tax paying American that is too old to fix it. You got to be fucking with me, dude. It, is that is that California? Uh, let me see right now. And the laws it is in New York. I can't take any more. Uh, <laughs> I need some good New York news. Is Billy Joel doing a concert? <laughs> in, wait, Oakland. It's Oakland, California. Hey, you guys. Yeah, know that. There you go. That sounds about right. Whenever I hear something real wild, my first go to is California. If it's and, slightly less wild, Chicago. See, if it's retarded, is- hit me. Give it to me. When we were kids, we saw something wild like this. You're like, yo, Venezuela, Brazil. Yes. Now you think California. <laughs> right. It's California is our Venezuela. Uh, here's that uh, that story, actually, right here. And there it is, yeah. Open open. Man. Of a 102-year-old man targeted by vandals. But then the city of Oakland cited the man who uses a wheelchair because of the graffiti. KTVU's Tom Vakar joins us now after spending some time with the man and his family, Tom. You know, like enforcing any principle, Lord law, have mercy. Judgment and discernment in knowing how and when. I got my mom that same wheelchair. Wheelchair bound, Oakland born, 102 years old, Victor Silva sad they're parading Senior, around for this video. Often finds graffiti <laughs> painted onto his back fence of his Oakland home where he's lived and paid taxes for 80 years. He's Earlier in the month, wheelchair paint. He got a violation paint. citation from the city of Oakland to remove it by Tuesday the what 19th kind of for facing an $1,100 fine. You know what type of you know. Additional $1,277. You can't say anything. Re-inspection. <laughs> it was so absurd. It's like a joke. If you, if you drive around the city and see the graffiti everywhere, it's just, I don't know what to say. I thought somebody's crazy. In his younger years, before the wheelchair, he He's often the painted would shoot over the graffiti could. himself. Had a oh, yeah. Paintbrush and painted it. You talking about like Gran Torino? Because that was a contract, you know. Get off about my 103, lawn. two months or so. That slowed up a little bit, you know. Christ These days, Almighty. That task falls to his 70 year old son, Victor Jr. It's hard to keep up with it because as soon as we get it painted, it's good to be graffiti on it again. Mm-hmm. And it won't last. But, like you said, there's graffiti right there. Who's fixing that? Now, this utility box 
has six different kinds of graffiti on it. I wonder if the utility got a citation. The family owns a nearby small commercial building which has been broken into three times in the last year. On one occasion, wow. Victor Jr. found a person inside. In each case, he called 911. And I'm put on hold every time. So it's, it's, it's hard to understand where our tax dollars are going. They can't answer uh. 911, but they can come out and hassle you by the fence. I had to ask. How does one live to 102 or 103? Very easy, just keep breathing and you know, behave yourself. <laughs> I would hate to think that there's other 100-year-old people that are being harassed like this. Oakland has to, has to change, it's just, the system's not working. The city inspector called me back and said he will do an immediate inspection and presumably cancel the citation. Tom Baker, Only because the news TV got on it, that's why. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly If the news why. didn't say shit to them, they wouldn't cancel shit. Fuck you, in jail Oakland. right now. How dare he? Mm -hmm. We need this house for migrants. How do you live to 102? Well, before then, the blacks weren't in the neighborhood. It was very nice. That's what he wanted to say. Yeah. And that's what we all knew he was thinking. Let's be real. I'm not going to pretend anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Decoy's like, I'm not doing a podcast with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this over with. Dunzo. Don't worry, Decoy. No, unacceptable. And one third black, I could do this. Jesus Christ. How about this? Band, 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 band. band. gone, gone. Forever. forever. Yes, I know. <laughs> Jesus, dude, I grew up in California. All right, I was in East LA, bro. I know what it's about. I used to cross chalk lines to go to the Asian market to get my food i walk through crime scenes regularly to get my lunch i know what's up and the sad thing is california was better back then that's what's wild it's just different now it was i feel like when i was growing up in california it was a lot of like like gang banging like set trip yes I don't, it don't was see that as much anymore it's just general violence from insane drug addled homeless people yeah, even my uncle, he sold all his property in California, got the hell out. Like, it's just bad. But don't worry, Gavin Newsom for president. That'll make everything better. Yeah. I, I think he's running. I really do. If he gets it, bro, I think I might actually have to look into leaving the actual country. Fuck. Go on your Johnny Somali arc. <laughs> it won't be a Johnny Somali arc. I'll go in there like... uh. Mm. Let's see if I see something I want. What am I supposed to say? Uh, and then they're like, oh, great. A goddamn American learning Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I know you're an American. Here's your soy sauce. <laughs> McDonald's is that way. <laughs> More uh, nutritious, Kaijin. I was going to bring this up earlier when we were talking about Diddy because no one's really talking about this part of the story. What's did Diddy you know doing? He has a 25 year old white boy that he uses as his drug mule whenever he goes <laughs> on vacation. Oh man, this is like I saw a show on like Discovery Channel, Discovery Plus, where like this black cop goes to jail and pretends to be a criminal and his drug mule was a white guy. Yeah, prison pocket. This kid right here was like a. a a basketball player in college and then during the pandemic for some reason in 2020 decided to do music <clears throat> three years later he's holding uh diddy's coke and weed in a private jet he was arrested the day that uh they raided both his condo both his uh, compounds that picture of him uh, that video of him walking around pacing around that was probably <laughs> right after his homeboy got arrested they're like diddy they got Corey. He's like, oh, damn, damn, damn. Knew I should have got a Venezuelan. <laughs> Why did they have to list him at six foot? Like, we we really needed to know. Well, just in case women find him attractive, they want to know he's six feet tall. Okay. Okay. That clarifies it. That's that's why he got on the inside of uh, Diddy's crew. Yeah. Well, he's looking pretty happy there. Made some good money. Yeah. Probably six figures. You got a condom up your ass with some coke and it didn't rupture. <laughs> You're yeah, headed to the game, bro. Right. You're doing better than me, dog. I can't even fault you. You got to get the bag, queen. Look at that. The, the basketball career didn't work out for him. It so didn't work out for me, too. I feel yeah. you. Exactly. What about this guy that Diddy see in him? And it was like, you know what? Rap Bro, he's, Come that's on. That's what I want to know. 
Bro, he look at him. He's completely unassuming. He's the perfect yeah, drug mule. There you go. He, he had everything. The fentanyl, the pills, the coke. Yikes. Diddy was really doing some Jeff Epstein stuff. Oh, yeah. I've heard stories about Diddy for years. Diddy and R. Kelly. I didn't know that that Diddy and R. Uh, yeah, the Diddy and R. Kelly music video was shot on, like, the island itself, right? That I don't know. I just know the wild stuff. Like Elvis, for instance. I don't know much of his music, but what Elvis did off stage was also wild. He was an inspiration for drug taking. <laughs> Tip Tappa, let's get at her. Uh, it doesn't say... Jeffrey Epstein Island. Now, what, what island was he on then? It was, it was something kind of recent. I think I can find it. How recent we talking? Because isn't R. Kelly no, no, it's, 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 like, uh, it's a recent video that they came out. That they were talking about like, hey, yeah. this was actually the island, not Diddy the fact and Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z was in the mix too. Oh yeah, I saw the video where Diddy was hanging out with uh, Justin Bieber. Fourteen. Bieber, that's a weird video. Even yeah. back in the day, that was weird. That was back when we had the pedal bear. Remember him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it was. Uh, it up. was. Yeah. Jay Z R. Kelly. The Fiesta video was shot on Jeffrey Epstein's St. James Island. Yo. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, and that would make sense because this video is with just hundreds of bikini wearing women in the background. So yeah, it seems like they're they're doing a lot of business over there. God damn. I wonder when that list will be released. Never. Well, we know Diddy and R. Kelly was on it now. <laughs> we just got to wait Oof. for people to expose themselves. No, they were fiesting, apparently. They were Did not it, playing. They might have got them tapes, because that's why uh, they they didn't give him any advance notice. Wait, wait, wait. What's the I tape? Mean, he was able to There's, escape before they raided the home, so. That's what I was wondering. He's like, he had a plane in Antigua, but he also had one in Florida, and that was the one he was at. It's like, man, oh. I would have been in. Gone, gone. <laughs> he would have pulled a Wyclef Jean if he knew it was up. Didn't Wyclef hide in Haiti and now he's stuck there? Yeah. That was a bad call, Wyclef. <laughs> now, Bar Wyclef's new rap name is Barbecue, so. Oh! oh. We're not going to get into that chat because of YouTube. <laughs> no, unacceptable. That's all I'm saying. I read something where like uh, Mexico is demanding twenty billion dollars a year from America. Is that true, decoy? I heard something about that because the the damage we're causing due to our immigration issues, and they won't take any of our um, they won't take any of the migrants back. But they demand that we invest in like South America and them to help their country to stop immigration. It's all it's all nonsense. Like it's 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 just the Mexican president holding or not holding ransom, maybe blackmailing Joe Biden during an election year to try to like fleece him for some tax dollars. Oh man. If only we had a president that knew where he was. Yeah. I got to say this about Trump. All right. And I know it's going to piss some people off, but Donald Trump, he's out there. He's rigging golf games to make himself the winner. Like, and people are like, look how pathetic Trump is. And I'm like, this dude is cognizant enough to rig a game in his favor. <laughs> The guy we got in charge don't know where he is. He's eating ice cream like a lost puppy. Why are we pretending this is a flex? God damn it. People are <sighs> so mad that his true social now is like a $5 billion company on paper. They yeah. made it $5 billion by like trying to dunk on it, the dumbasses. I know. And, uh, and it's for not buying like, into it. Hey, I'm going to see exactly how much it is right now. I think it's in the 70s. No, nah, it's dropping, bro. It's at 50 something. Oh. The time to make your money has come and gone. It's going Yikes. down now. We need Biden's intern to make another tweet dunking on it to get some cash out of that. So chop, chop, intern. <laughs> I'm capitalizing off the Rome burning. Fuck it. By the way, we are not financial advisors. Yes. Do not try and <laughs> meme stock with me and lose your money. Show up next stream. It's a goddamn you stupid motherfucker. You had me invest in true social and I lost my shirt. <laughs> and I'll be like, you gotta know when to jump, dog. All right. Uh close today, 66. All right, so it went up a little. Yeah, should have got in. Should have got in. Ugh. Feels <laughs> like in Oh, I should have got I should have kept Look my stocks when it's at 200. Damn. Five Remember X. I like bought the true social by mistake? When oh, it first yeah. dropped in 2020. 
I was like, yo, there's this new thing on the market. It's blowing up. I'm making a little money. And you're like, that's true socialist Donald Trump's thing. I'm like, oh, shit. And then it dropped like a stone and I lost oh. cash and I like jumped out like a bitch. Oh. <laughs> he always misses. Oh. I've been telling him to get Bitcoin ever since like, what was it? 2022? New York had like, me locked out. Yeah, they did do that to you. They had you locked up. New York like, was the only state that did that. The only state that stopped you from buying Bitcoin because they wanted to figure out a tax it. Fuck you, New York government. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Tim Pool, he actually had a really good clip that I watched uh, about <clears throat> women calling for war in Ukraine. And what? About, <laughs> yeah, check this out. I'm a piss Overwhelmingly, it is women supporting the war in Ukraine, mm -hmm. which is fascinating. And and what I mean by that yeah, is because I, they're I, getting death benefits. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 particularly extrapolating the data, but women uh, vote Democrat at a very very high rate relative mm -hmm. to men. Certainly, men do vote Democrat too, but I believe. Pew Research a couple of years ago, it's like 55% of men vote Republican, 45 Democrat among women, it's like 70%. Mm -hmm. So there is a higher proportion of women who are voting in favor of Democrat policy, which sends our money to war and com conflict and combat, pushing us towards World War III, in which they have no material obligation uh, uh, to their lives the way men do with the draft. Mm -hmm. So I take particular offense to this, but uh, I, to go back to what you were saying, I don't know if you saw the video. Someone did a man on the street where they go around asking men, do men need women? All the men yeah. say, yes, of course. We use that on Access Vegas. They, they yeah. ask the women, do women need men? They all say no. And so my point about war is many of these women, 70% uh, voting Democrat, hmm. are pushing us towards a massive war where as soon as the war breaks out, they immediately turn around and beg the men to save their lives. Not me. I already got a place picked out in Argentina. Jesus. I'm not dying for this. You got another thing coming. I'm yeah. living. It's sad how many fam like military families are now saying, okay, we don't want our kids. This this is the last generation to be in the military. They're turning away from it. It's over. Well, decoy, are you not supporting the trans soldiers? Is that what you're saying? I'm not going to anything to do with this military right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm I hope there's no draft. Cause uh I'm definitely leaving. I will be a draft dodger. You're getting it here first. Gundam will bail. I'm not no going down can, for this. No one can tell me why we're in a proxy war with Ukraine after two years. Like I hear some of my mother's friends when I go pick her up and I have to take her out. Uh, they'll talk about the war in Ukraine and how they have to support Biden. And we have to be at war with Ukraine. And I'm like, why? What, why? What exactly are we gaining as a country? by? Let's go back to the war on poverty. The war on drugs. Now, let's not get too crazy. Daddy needs his vitamins. <laughs> But yeah, I hear you, dude. My aunt's like that. She's like so like diehard Biden. I'm like, for what? You complain about the prices of everything in here? The man was in office within two years. We got 10 years of inflation. That alone should scare you. Not to mention all the other crazy shit going on now. But the television ah. doesn't tell them to panic about that, so they don't. Oh, good point. Damn it. Right. It's all January 6th. Because yeah, the show. television told them, oh, Bidenomics is thriving the banana isn't 10 times what it used to be. You're just a bigot. So oh, you're right. Decoy. I forgot. I'm going far right. <laughs> I need to send Dylan a love letter for penance, but for real, I'm definitely <laughs> dodging a draft. I'm not going down for Dylan Mulvaney to get the woman of the year award. <laughs> That's not what I'm fighting for. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's gotten pretty bad. Um, Everybody in chat's like, you're in trouble up to 40. What? That's illegal. I am against that. Good. I'm out of I'm out of the game. See y'all. God damn beach. it. God fucking damn it. I'm so sick of your beach going. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like sending me stupid tweets while I'm in like the Ukraine. Hey Gundam, you see what Keem said? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> It's like, whoa, it's hot down here and you're shoveling snow. All oh, I God. see is the, the military draft. I'm just going to get the cutoff when World War III starts. I'll serve, I'll serve in the U.S. military to fight scary Putin man. And then after that's done, I'll be just young enough to serve in Korea's military when they draft me to fight in the space wars. So I, I'm probably the, the worst age during this You're time. You're doubling right up. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. Thank what God. Do you think I, of, uh, what do you think hmm? about the TikTok ban? 
I, th- I think it's it's terrible because whenever you have both the Republicans and the Democrats both unilaterally agreeing on something, it's not in the best interest of the American people. I think it gives them too many right or the president too many emergency powers to ban our free speech because he sees fit. So it's like, yeah. How is it that this bill was bad when Trump was in office, but it's good when Biden is in office? Yeah, I yes. think it's a hunt. It's a trap. It's just going to be used to to uh, control our speech online. Yes, sadly, it's it's sad when you have to like uh, kind of defend what I feel is a Chinese spyware. And that's the thing is you don't want TikTok to be here, but that bill doesn't just ban TikTok. Ah, uh, we're so screwed. I better yeah. work on my Japanese some more. <clears throat> Oh, Mandarin. That's who our overlords will be. So brush up on that first. (laughs) Fuck it. I'll just have to die. I give up. (laughs) I'm too much of an objector and a rebel. I mean, put the bullet in me, Tang C. Uh, I wanted to show you this real quick. Not that again. I didn't want to keep. I I didn't care for that video. You didn't like this with the Ricky Berwick video. Ricky Berwick made it funny, but I'm not going to sit through that whole thing again. Okay. It's like this crippled black dude doing a dance in there. And then Ricky Berwick makes it funny by going, I didn't give Disney the rights to my life story and make me black. And I'm like, funny. Then I turn it right off. Uh, look at the, these dudes, just because just because Chad knows I love cars and I, I hate seeing beautiful Isn't cars. Isn't that a McLaren destroyed. or something? McLaren, McLaren uh, 720S destroyed by a couple of TikTokers. He left his buddy inside it too, right? Yeah, no, his buddy was on the ground them. wailing. Yeah, the buddy was on the ground. The other guy ran off. Let me see if I can get the, the video. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Sucks. Well, at least they didn't burn in the car like uh, the dude from Fast and the Furious. Jesus. God damn, I wish I had enough money where I could just wreck a McLaren and run away. And he has because, like, one already. Like, the yeah, fact he could bail. I'll show it in a second. Mm. Fucking hell. If that was me, hey, I'd be just on fucking the walked off. Car. Left his McLaren and walked off. Fucking hell. Hey, right, General, you good? I'm no, he's not. Crap, Are you alright? No, I think I'm that's not to us, man. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> General. Bloody hell, mate. It's over. <laughs> this is an you. ad for PlayStation? Those <laughs> graphics suck. <laughs> <laughs> he's brown bread. He's buttered, as they say over in the pod. If that was me and I crashed my McLaren, I'd be on the ground crying. Yeah, that yeah. has a new one already. There's this there's new one. God damn it. Uh, God, God, why can't it be me? What do I have Love to do it. to make this type of money? I'm what ready to sell do? out. Yeah, what does he do? Decoy's got the right questions. Yeah. Pranks, uh, uh, goofy TikTok IRL shit. All right, Decoy, I got a, a pitch for you. So he's we basically doing like pranks. all those Instagram models that like they're a model, but they're actually in Dubai selling themselves. That's yeah, what I, that's what I think. Let's start doing prank videos, dude. Me and you get that hot getting... friend of yours, and we'll just film me hitting on her or something. It is the unwanted advances prank. It'll be the new meta. No, we'll be the 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 rare like cautionary tale of like, oh, they tried to create a prank content channel, and they were, they got <laughs> blasted by a guy from Texas or something. Like, it's not going to work out well for us. You have to be an asshole to get away with it forever. I guess the podcast name too yellow to be uh crazy. <laughs> is it going to work? It, here's the sad thing is everybody's like, Oh my God, the lighting is making you so yellow. And I'm like, Did oh, you I'm guys yellow ever too, think dude. that's why I made the joke. I'm yellow. <laughs> like I'm just saying <laughs> like the, if I want to turn the lights cool, it still makes me yellow. Like here's, here's the, the you got that light. golden brown. It's a lovely tone. The kids love it. Here's have you is, seen Shogun 7,000 K I'm still yellow. Like there, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, <laughs> Maybe I just have. Maybe listen. It's... Asians are in right now, <laughs> but I'm not the right type of Asian. I'm not like singing and dancing, wearing makeup. Funny rich uh, Asians and Native Americans. There's your show right there. There we go. But we're not rich yet. But whatever. The chat doesn't yeah. need to know that. Yeah. Fake it till yeah. you make it. Yeah, we'll rent cars. <clears throat> there you go. It's all for me together. We're gonna be so rich. I can smell it. <laughs> Oh well, uh, I, I didn't want to keep decoy any more than I told him. It'd just be a couple hours, but um, it has it, almost been three. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, what do you got? What, what do you got coming up? Oh, I just had this, anything. 
not necessarily just if you haven't checked out the channel give it a shot maybe you'll like it i mean it's not as well produced as it's a gundam's channel but i cover some stuff that would probably be like for the same person that enjoys his things i'm, I'm covering a the video i'm about to make uh public right now is about all those ladies getting punched in new york city it's insane what's happening but it was definitely predictable nice sadly so i was watching a migrant try and kidnap a girl in new york city man third world getting... crimes first world yes. crimes. oh and then if you say i guess democrats being controlled isn't working out people are like he's gone right wing he's lost himself down the alt right pipeline yeah, it's like, oh my God, like uh, everything has been has been terrible. We can't afford bread. Migrants are taking over the hotels and I'm afraid to go out at night. But did you know Trump falsified some golf scores? Ooh, like that. Uh oh, big it. Whoa, that fucking animal. We <laughs> can't some, let him in charge. He might do something of bad. Papers in the in the toilet. Remember Biden had boxes of papers he left in a Corvette? Yeah. Next garage. to his son. <laughs> And you know he didn't remember to lock the door. <laughs> yeah. Hunter probably rolled it up in a nice little straw and snorted some coke off the, off the document. Hey, right Dad, are you using dad. these papers from the Pops. DHS? <laughs> Hunter, what's that snorting sound? Yeah, it's it's been bad. I think that was a big red pill moment for me where <laughs> the New York Post got deleted off of all social media websites for oh, sharing yeah. laptop contents that were later on confirmed but you weren't able to say they were confirmed just that the that was feds were arresting the person that leaked it and it's like wait what if it's not yeah. real how is that a crime that was such a pipeline dude you're they're yeah. like it's not real it's fake news you're an idiot like okay they're, okay the laptop's real but there's nothing on it you're like okay they're like the laptop's real there's something on it it's not that big a deal then it goes even further there's stuff on it not that big a deal Yes, it is Hunter Biden with illegal guns and literally like counting the weight of his grams of vitamins <laughs> yes. with hookers. Hunter's living his best life. Bro looks like shit wearing like a scarf like he's speed racer and he's posing in the mirror like he's Jesus with hookers hanging off of him. And they're like, avert your eyes. You're a bigot if you're looking at this. It was so wild. God, what a time to be alive. I just remember seeing the text message chain between him and I don't know what you classify oh, that too. The about asking for a woman and they're like not Asian. You can't have Asian. We have a former NBA wife and I was like, wait, people really talk like this? This is nuts. But <laughs> he's like, no Asian because you're horny later when you're done. And I was like, Hunter, you animal. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy to know that these are the people <laughs> that are tax powers fun to protect. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ban you for quoting Hunter Biden directly, <laughs> Tim. That's bad. Yeah, and oh everybody keeps on, and Chaz keeps on saying no yellow. That was the quote. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wild animal. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I made fun of a magpie bird and YouTube swoops in instantly. <laughs> <laughs> is what it is. It's a not, nightmare. It's a not never for uh, promoting hookers because they oh talked about a magpie God. bird. Wait, was that the magpie or was that something different? No, I got hit for promoting prostitution for talking about the Twitch meta. That's oh right. God. That was the literal quote from a YouTube worker. <laughs> and the one and the one where they uh they yeeted you because you were uploading your members only video to the same channel. Yeah. That was I, I a... sat there and thought I got nailed for making fun of Gross Gore for saying he jerks off in the closet while his wife bangs another dude. It turns out it was me uploading my videos more than once. Jesus. I hate this platform. Please hire me. <laughs> Rumble, for the love of God, I'm untapped potential. I'm this generation's Richard Pryor. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> Come on, kick. We need that deal. Well, that's the thing that I've been hearing. Like, I forgot who it was when I was researching Johnny Somali, but there was a person that has a kick deal. It's like in the five figures per month and all he gets is like 500 live stream viewers kick is Ooh. like money laundering or something i don't i don't get it yeah i don't care money laundered in my pocket <laughs> they use the back end of it for their um for steak so yeah, i know a lot of people psych. like we, we watch a guy called uh boss man jack who's like a crackhead that's addicted to online gambling mm. <clears throat> total shit bag but he'll spend probably about oh i would say 
fifty to sixty thousand dollars a month on state just state cash for him to sit there and lose and he still gets paid money, but as soon as he gets paid money, he just blows it all on roulette wheels and dice rolls. That's it's like watching DSP play yeah, WWE champions, but for real and live. Right. That's what Phil should do. Uh, Bro, Dark Side Phil, listen. Yo, Snort Hogan, you out there? Quote this. <laughs> Clip it, whatever. Duty, I know you're there. DSP, get on kick and live stream yourself pulling Hogan's bra. That's the move to make. Then people are going to send you money to gamble. <laughs> Just do it, Phil. This is it. This is the turnaround. This is the comeback you need. Oh, God, I'm so full of great ideas. Where's my liquor? <laughs> well, um, it's been great talking with you, Decoy. I, I, I I knew you'd be a great guest. Uh, but we're ended the show content. then. Yeah. Do what? Are we ended the show since you're kicking my boy decoy off? I'm gonna get I, this guy to podcast. Can stay to the. I gotta do the super chats. We've got about a hundred to go through. Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh my god. Job, okay, man. I see. You got a good show, man. I understand, decoy. If you want to run, go for it, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, I appreciate you guys having me on. It was fun. I feel like I've I've. Never spoken to either one of you guys ever before in my life, and I feel like we had some pretty good show. It's like a like hanging out with some some of my boys. So appreciate the time on here, and I uh, appreciate or look forward to being on in the future sometime. Don't worry, I'll be in your DMs. We'll be talking normal shit. <laughs> yeah, You'll regret this day. <laughs> all right, appreciate you it, man. And thanks everybody man. sending all those super huge super chats. Like I I have a live stream. I get you know a twenty or fifty dollar one every now and then, but I've never seen anything like this. So this was amazing, just to kind of. Observe it. It was pretty cool. Honest to God, I'm surprised it's here, decoy. Like, I don't even feel it's real. For me personally, I keep worrying that like Ashton Kutcher is gonna come in here and he's gonna be like, You got punk, nobody gave you shit, you idiot. (laughs) You know, (laughs) the first stream we got like a a a big donation. He was like, They're gonna charge that back. They're gonna charge that back. And I'm like, bro, it's good. This YouTube stream is good. Don't worry. I'm waiting for the hammer to fall. (laughs) Because I don't think they can charge back on no. YouTube. On Twitch, they get charged back all the time, right? Yeah. They, uh, if if you buy the bits, you can't get uh, oh. you can't get uh, charged back on that. Same way when you buy like a Super Chat, you're actually buying like a digital product. Now, if you were to, to donate by either Streamlabs or PayPal, then they could uh. go to, the, to those payment processors and hold and refund that. Then you just have to like fight them. But, yeah, people do that all the time to me. I don't really see it. It happens to Dark Side Phil. He has a meltdown. I love it. <laughs> Here's the thing: is like you cover Dark Side Phil, and I just use him as like a mental image of like what, what not, not to do. do. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> because it's so sad. Because like I could easily see myself getting big on on YouTube and then not handling it well, and all of a sudden just go in this downward spiral of just being bitter that you're not succeeding. So people don't want to watch you get more bitter because you're not succeeding. It's just this downward spiral of just being a meme at this point in time. and Having to beg every day for your daily bread. Before you know it, you're on vacation in Australia, worried about koala stealing your Gucci watch, you know. It's a slippery slope, dude. It could happen to us all. Jesus Christ. I only got 13,000 viewers. What the hell? Dude, the stream we did with Frit almost hit 10, and I was like, wow. Yeah, I know. I wholeheartedly think that at some point in time, there's going to be a behind the music, but a behind the streamers and it's behind the YouTube. You. Shit, we might need to produce that. That's a great idea. Let's do it. How much all you- those <laughs> online drama accounts? I actually, who's that guy, Sunny V2? All he does is just talk about your demise. Like, if you can make it through life on the internet and Sunny V2 doesn't do a, a video about you, you've succeeded. Oh, yeah. It's coming for me. Yeah. I already <laughs> know how I'm going down. What is the title? Uh, how it's a Gundam? I'm going to go out like Hunter Biden. Like oh I'm going to be in a bed with hookers covered in narcotics, <laughs> just dead, fat, and bloated. And they'll be like, he really fell off at the end. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. What? I can't say that? <laughs> no, nah, you're good on that one. Oh, uh, thank God. I need uh, someone here yeah. to make sure I don't go off the edge. <laughs> Jesus the train conductor yeah. over here. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you guys. If you um, hopefully if you if you watch check out my channel, you get to see this one I got cooking up right now. I think it's one of my better videos because it really goes in on the absurdity of New York City. So again, thanks for having me on, and I will uh, talk to you guys later on. Thanks I will see lot. you soon, decoy. We'll see you soon. Yep, this is a nice uh, dude. This is a good dude. He's gonna be burdened with me real soon. He'll be telling that hot friend of his, hey, "It's a Gundam guy. Like he's actually got crazy in person." <laughs> 
It's not just an act. Uh, okay, we've got to go through these super chats because there is quite a bit. Gundam will be found butt naked. Fat, where is this? I've got to. Where that? Where did that one go? Let's see. Gundam will be found butt naked, foaming at the mouth with a CD. Ne- yes. What the hell's a CD? Like a music CD? Probably. Or is that? Like, I hope your that's CD, what it is. Probably your CD unreleased. Dude, I actually have a gold record of my CD, so I like put it on my chest when I go out. There you go. Dice Punch Studios with the SGD5 Gundam, which Bandai product, a product announcement are you most excited for? Actually, for real, none. Like, it's all looking kind of lame. The 2.0 RG Gundam looks hot, but, you know, how many times can you build the Granddaddy Gundam? Bing, bang, boom, what's up, Jazzy? Oh, thank you, thank you for the $2. Uh, Pesk is flying through. Yeah, I'm trying to go through uh, real quick. we got so many of them. Uh, I'm just going to read out a few. Uh, if you're not a transphobe on the list, do better. <laughs> <laughs> nothing Burger just became a member. Thank you so Bless much. Bless you, Nothing. Been a panda. panda. Gundam, will you come to a powwow with me? I thought about going to a powwow, but anonymously, you know. Uh, I kind of avoid powwows because I know if I have fried bread or something, I'd probably cry. So uh, let's just pretend I didn't say that. Steven DeLeon with the $5. Heard you're going to be on FMT. I can't wait for my favorite content creator, even though your editing is mid. Ooh. And somebody's banned. Goodbye. Bye bye. Gone forever. Gone forever. Eat it. How about this? Banned, 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 banned. Gone forever. Eat it. <laughs> uh, Zion Doppelganger with the five. Nice black pill from Sargon just now. Screw that. We need to go after these people, not just play defense. Oh, what do you want me to do? If I make a video, I'm already on a list. Uh, Waterstar with a two. Take my money. Thank you so much. God bless you all, by the way. But what could we do? Like, if we do anything, it's going to be seen as an act of war or some shit. They're going to treat us like it's January 6th just because I want to play the Stellar Blade demo. Is that out yet? Shit. Not out. D-Roy with the $5. Hey, Gundam. Got my merch this week. And great job yeah. on the shirt brand comfy colors these are the best shirts god Shout bless out you anus on that one more shirts are coming they're gonna just tickle your toes and wiggle your nose ted comment with the five dollars remember no ba- no matter how bad things get for cobes mythicos are dedicated <laughs> to make it all worse also cyrax grandma's dead i heard about that i hadn't confirmed it yet but um gun was not into cyrax so yeah much. not I, at I'm all in, I, I am and i I, uh, I, he's fucked. He's totally fucked. Uh, Trey Big Levadonis has been a member for 14 months. Does Gundam have a P.O. box? I've got some extra packages of tuna. <laughs> there is a P.O. box. You'll find it under the About Me page or on one of the P.O. box uh, videos, I think. I can't remember. The Raging D-Head with $5. Hello, my fellow bigots. I've been told that saying DEI is equivalent to saying the N-word. DEI, <laughs> please. What's up, what? my DEI? Smile, DEI, so we can see you. Ooh. I, I don't even know what to make of that. Is that actually a thing? Uh, it could be. Raging D-Head's been a member for two months as well. That last one was courtesy of my grandfather. <laughs> Thank you, D-Head. has got some heat. Vagabond's been a member for five months. Gundam, thanks for all the hours of entertainment. Thank you for being here. WF1 on... One on Yo, Wani has been a new member. Thank you so much. Alex I love K. the dog. With the seat 20, at least her hoochie is clean and not swampy. Oh, uh, he's probably talking about Alinity. Yeah. I wonder if she bangs any well. Because I know El- Bell Dolphine fucks like a, a dead doll. Like, she's just terrible. I'm going to bring up Bell Dolphine. Yeah. We'll bring it up so. before the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, what we're ending on a high note. Cool. Ralph. Blyster with the five dollars. Thank you for being an inspiration to me, Gundam. I published my own book thanks to people like you. I hope to see you thrive despite the chaos. I hope to see it too, but don't count on it. There may be a day when they take me away from you. The white man's just gonna come in here and take me away. Pin up panda with the five dollars. Gundam, do you like the bad dad animation series? Well, we did that one before. That one. Uh Ahsoka Tano with the five dollars. Can't stand Melina Mack. She Who's has that? an annoying voice. She's a five oh. with duct tape, <laughs> mouth max, just so I wouldn't need to listen to the Mac talk. Who's this? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Look it up later. We're, we're rolling through. Okay, rebound with the five pounds. 
Reactionary means anti-revolutionary, which you should be, but normies don't know that. Marxists give, gave it to them, and they think that that means right wing. Well, that's not surprising. Uh, Dice Punk Studios with the SDG5, I've started identifying as a brown space lesbian muscle mommy to throw off the progressives, and the privilege I get now is insane. Smart move. Time to transition. I'm a row boy. I'm a row boy with the five gifted membership. Thank Bless you, so you much. David with the five. Hey, Gundam, what's your opinion on the New York governor taking away M16s from the National Guard soldiers in the subways because it, quote unquote, offended people? Bro, fucking somebody just get killed in the subways. The National Guard being there doesn't stop shit because you're not. No, no, not doing it. Move on. Didn't, no. didn't that guy that was trying to stab someone in the subways get his gun taken and shot by his own gun? Yeah, that's another stupid instance. Let's move on. I'm there done talking go. about how bad things are. Vex the Black Dragon with $5. Papa Gunna's been preaching about the Latin women for a while. Keep on preaching. Muy caliente, mi hermano. Mark's been a member for eight months. Just blew my blackjack win. Thought I'd share. Always Thank bet you. on black. Brian Gamble just became a new member. Thank you so much. Elk with the two pounds. Happy diarrhea day, dog. Uh-oh, I think that was directed at our poor little Down Syndrome friends. <laughs> Tink Musu with the uh, 320 Japanese yen. Uh, let's work on that Japanese accent, Papa Gundam. You know, my friend Goki, who's Japanese, he lives here. I should go see Goki. He always says you say everything in Japanese with a thick American accent. And I'm like, well, considering I'm American. Man of culture, $5. Gundam, are you slowly becoming Jim Leahy? Yes. I got to have another drink, bud. That's why we're powering through this. <laughs> Dave Leno has been a member for one month. I love you guys. Thanks to the real G streams. I've always been grateful for my crazy ex for showing me you goon doom. Thank you. Crazy X for showing him the way, the light, the something. David with the $2. You should also go on the unsubscribe podcast. I've never heard of it. Is that a uh, Mudahar's podcast? I've been on that. Um, Genda 13 with the five pounds is Gundam a metrosexual do you think America is becoming what Grandmaster Flash said on the message music video back in 82 what did he say in 82 past guy I'm bl oh, I don't know that. <laughs> broken glass uh, everywhere people pissing on the street and they just don't care wow that's pretty on the money that's foreboding uh, metrosexual I guess I could have been considered that if you go by the LGBTQ community's guidelines for what puts you in the rainbow coalition. I technically fall in there. I don't publicly. Oh, I just publicly announced it. Fuck. Oh, uh, fuck. Yeah, Razzle. that won't bite me in the ass later. Razzle Taz with the $5. It's a real shame that Koala Bear didn't <laughs> bubble his son. <laughs> it would have jacked the shit. If that koala attacked his son, bro, I would literally have a koala shrine in here. Fim Tango with the five dollars. When can you bring Fit back to have two drug heads on the stream? Is hilarious. Maybe I should do like a little show where Frit once in a blue moon called two drug heads. That would that be hot, man. All the these, modern day I, Cheech I and Chong. Shit down. I'm gonna hit up Decoy about a podcast. I know he isn't gonna do it. I'm too wild for him. I think. Y'all be hot on there. Y'all y'all had a good banter back and forth the, the entire time. I didn't want to cut it short. I didn't want to cut it, but I mean, we were two, about two hours with him, so I didn't want to, you know, take up any more of his time, and we had to do these super chats, and we're already three hours, so. Um, SBZ with the five. By the way, Ryan Kennel said he's not menacing enough to be called a middle-aged Dennis the Vittis. Ryan Kennel is terrible. We need that clip. When I was on f &T, this is what Ryan would do to me. He would bait me with racially charged jokes knowing that when I was tired, I would answer them, not realizing the mistake I was making. <laughs> He's like, what do you want to do? What, you hide your, what do you hide your money to keep from it being stolen by you know what people? And I'm like, you put it in your books because they don't read. And I'm like, oh my God, Ryan, you son of a bitch. Uh, weird with the $2. Where do you see the world in five years? God willing. Uh, I am an optimist despite my demeanor. I hope in five years we get a new president. 
Please, God, let it happen. I know everybody hates the orange man. I'm not a fan either. But let's be real. He did great with the economy, and that's what we need right now. A strong dollar, Keystone Pipeline, America first, Americans first. Let's just make the country safe for people to walk little dogs again without migrants jumping from behind the stairs and kidnapping girls or attempting to. I don't know. That's racially charged now to say. But we get a new president. The economy rebounds. We slowly build back to just some normalcy. That's all I want. I want to buy a house. I want a backyard. I want to have a rat bag kid. And I want that for you too. I want you to be able to enjoy your life. I want you to be able to just be proud of who you are and where you are and feel safe in this goddamn country because you fucking earned it by blood right. That's where I see it in five years. Um, if grandpa, uh, if Weekend at Bernie's keeps going, uh, I see inflation going higher. I see things getting worse. I see an inevitable con an inevitable conflict with Taiwan, and you know who the Red Dragon. And uh, put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. But let's go for option one: America doing better. Gans with the five dollars. I feel like this stream resembles resembles Gundam's life—a total shit show and no idea to fix it. Thank you, Gans. It's a great anime and manga. D Roy with the two dollars. It's a diddler. It's Diddy. Andrew Monopet with the five dollars. I thought the diddler was a name they gave to Don, Dan Schneider on the set after quiet on the set after it came out. Old Dan, old feet, feet, feet fetish Dan. Who's that? That's the guy that uh, was the producer for those Nickelodeon shows that now they made a show about him. Uh, oh oh boy. Oh, you had to say that out loud. I, I, in Minecraft. Too late now. We're like in the third hour. Um, a time wasters account with the five dollars. You might not be as successful as Hassan, but you're the only streamer I give money to. It ain't much, but hey, that's the price of integrity. God wow. bless you. One day I will disappoint you by going to, uh, wherever the fuck you went. But I will have the decency to let a koala bite me as I scream about my Rolls Royce. <laughs> Risk videos with a five dollars. Papa Gundam. I bought two shirts. Here's a five to round up the shipping and the taxes. God bless you, sir. I gotta get my own shirt too. I gotta get one too. Full Metal Fan eighty nine with the two dollars. I want to show. I want to show has on what a real kit looks like. Okay. Is that about like a show where I take over on kick and give the children what they yeah, need? I guess. Or real... are we talking about kicks? Because daddy got some hot Jordans today. Finally won one on sneakers. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got the trophy room. They're fucking hot. Ooh, the boy. packaging is nice, too. You're going to have to send me a picture after the show. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Uh, gets a bear with the $2. Huh. I thought the vitamin killed you. Congratulations. You know... I can't say how many times I've tried to bubble myself, but it's happened a few times, but I've somehow survived. I think I've grown a tolerance. Rude Dude Reviews with the $5. Here's a few bucks toward the new homestead, G. Thanks and props for the quality content. My gal doesn't really listen, but she pretends to, so yay. Don't put your girlfriend through this because I've put my girlfriends through my existence on YouTube and my God, all of them left. Ian Fitzgerald with the two pounds, 57 million of migrants in New York is clown world. Bro, all right. My my mother's sister, they can't get any sort of assistance with food, so it's up to me to pay for food. And they're very expensive, in my opinion. I think they're fleecing me. But that's another story. But the fact that, like, New Yorkers can't get shit, but people who literally broke into the country illegally can, it's just, it's just too much. Like, there's fucking veterans that don't get shit in this state. What the hell's going on? I could only imagine fighting for this country and then getting boned. <sighs> yeah, getting passed over while a migrant family like steps over you on their way to use their debit card. That's why I'm saying a draft, I'm leaving. Fantastic Mr. Knox with the Australian Five. Did Keffels forget how she got them augmentations? It's definitely not from communism. Oh yeah, you wouldn't get those in communism. No titties in communism. Stephen Morrow with the $2, an 18-hour night at work. Make me laugh, clown. Well, go through all the live streams. There's a six-hour one that's chock full of insanity. That was my favorite stream. That was a good stream. All Kenny the vitamins Just I could handle. 
Kenny Justice with the five dollars. Hey Gundam, quick question: Have you seen those Gundam action figures? That's like twenty five bucks. Are they worth buying as something to collect? Thanks, no. sir. No, don't waste your money. <laughs> You're better off buying like P Bandai kits and then waiting like a year or two and then reselling them on Flea Bay. Especially if it's like a real wear one, then you could like clean up with three, four hundred dollars. But remember, it's a niche market, and I'm not saying you're gonna clean up on this, so don't take my word as the gospel truth. Uh, amazing, Mr. Fox, with the five dollars, my modest contribution to your escape from New York to Electric Boogaloo Fund. You know, I, you know, T Fury, before they kick me off. I think they they got rid of my escape from New York. Get the bad queen shirts was one of my favorite designs. That was a good design. Those communist. Tomorrow's counterattack with the PM five dollars. Gundam, you ever play Gibo two? Gibo two. But there's also a merch store. Some stickers will be sick. We should get to work on stickers. I'll have it happen. A uh, Gundam build something. Is that a Gundam related game? I I can't remember. I've been having a little drinky poo. <laughs> Stephen Morrow with another two. I'm squatting in your basement. Can I come up now? Dude, if you're squatting in that basement, you probably freeze to death. <laughs> uh, Michael, too, with a five dollars. Hey, Gundam, been a fan for a long time. I hope this helps you get out of these out of the trash state. How long is the store going to be up, by the way? All right. This store hopefully stays up a long time, unlike the last one. Also, I should say thank you to everybody who's concerned with me getting out of here, honestly. Uh, I didn't expect anyone to give a rat's ass. You got to get out of New York. And it, I know. It's just, it gets worse and worse and worse. The taxes are getting worse. It's getting stupid. Especially like, you know, if you're going to be building, I will talk about it later. Raiden yeah. Cage with the $2. I just want to say how you've helped me so much. Well, cool. you've helped me by watching. Because the only thing I really live to do is to try and put out content I think people could watch more than once. That's pretty much all I've been living for for the past few years. I know it's grim. Cap K4N with the $2 in rubles, I can tell you for sure commies aren't educated. I'll give the commies this. They figured out how to take over our social media and entertainment. Yeah. Snortzilla with the $2, no ditty, is the new pause. Uh... So I guess we're going to use no ditty. That's that's the new meme. <laughs> okay, I get it. Raiden Cage with the two dollars. I just want to say thanks for all you do. Ah, crap! It's dying. Uh, I'll, I'm trying to run through. Alyssa, old father with the five dollars. Thank you for being real. The amount of your videos I have rewatched is a lot. They are funny and refreshing. Please pet Fl Fluffy for me. Fluffy will receive her pets and little chicken treats. CF's been a member for one month, just starting over on the YouTubes. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you, CF. Simmit Sausage with the $2. Love your take on Stellar, Stellar Blade. I'll probably play it on stream one of these days. I'll call it the bigoted stream. Soren with the $5. Gundam, if you start selling stickers, I'll actually absolutely snag some to put on the back hatch. They would slap, as my kids say. Well, here's a, another thing. Be careful that nobody vandalizes your car because of the sticker. So I hope you're in a place where <laughs> people aren't crazy, dude transphobe frosty with the two dollars pokemon is always watching mm is the best by the way pokemon i have sent a lot of messages to <laughs> private deals she hasn't blocked me yet so she probably doesn't run her twitter to be real fantastic mr knox with the five dollars speaking of pokemon one one must wonder how her drops ship cookies are doing are probably making business? money they might be it's money. it's still being listen i've learned one thing from the sim community when it comes to like e girls and even guys like Hassan, these people keep them like paid, bro. I'm telling you. Dom4 with the five pounds. Here's some cash for your vitamins and keeping me entertained and work, Papa Gundam. What's your opinion on Xeon aquatic suits? Love them. I love all the classic UC stuff. Uh, the unicorn aquatic Gira Zulus. And, no, Gira Dogas. No, wait, it was Gira Zulu. That one was badass. Oh, blue with the fence. It made no sense that a robot suit, a mobile suit would need fins on its feet like a real person, but I still ate it up because I'm retarded. Let's go. Let's go. Next one. Bam. Stickman with the rocket sword with the $5 in the age of fake personalities, pay propaganda, AI7. What would your name 
be decoy voice, what it would actually mean? Well, he's not here, but ah, oh, crap, uh, a DM decoy this. Ray Faulkner just became a member. Thank you so much. And Enrique the Squirrel with the five dollars. Gundam, what's your take on the P Diddy scandal? It, it, everything is unfolding. It was just a matter of time before Diddy got caught. This is the age where everybody's getting caught for being a piece of garbage. My time is coming. They gonna get me. You gonna find out I'm a pervert too. I love booty. <laughs> You're gonna find out women have given me, women have given me foot jobs. I've gone all over. I'm I'm all over the place. I'm an animal. Ralph Blaster with the five dollars. Quick question, Gundam. Do you have a PO box? I'd like to send you a copy of my book. If you're interested. If not, that's cool. Keep up the good fight. Feel free. The PO box is in the about me page. It should be under my uh, look up my fluffy fail box videos. It should be there too. I think. Gets a bear with a five dollars. Gosh darn it! There was a copy of OG Star Wars Battlefront for PC sealed at the thrift store for five dollars. Now it's gone, and the new one is bad. Patience. Why would is you bad. not grab that, dude? Right. Sealed in Wait. the cot. Sealed. Wait. Can you like buy the original Battlefront? Because I was playing that. Let me check, see this in his store. Keep going. Don't mind me. I'm looking. Opponent's Chaplin with the $5. The second time they unsubbed me from this channel, I became a member of it. Suck it, YouTube. There Suck you go. it, you bigots. Omar Williams with the $2. Sup from Detroit. Bring back bad dad. <laughs> uh, Detroit Rock City. I'd love to bring back bad dad, but I'm putting that behind like uh, getting paid to be on some sort of streaming site or something. I want a real production for bad dad. So my vision could... Truly be seen and then be canceled immediately. Nathan Cassidy with the five dollars. I find it funny that DSP's YouTube career lasted longer than the Baltimore Bridge. At this point, he might outlast World War Three. <laughs> it's, it's it's so depressing because it's true. God bless him. You know the dude. You got to give it to him. He somehow manages to keep going. I've tried to bubble myself for so much less. How Max does he do it? Maximus is 2400 with the $5. Gundam Review Tech is dick riding you again on Locale Live right now. Ah, yeah, well. They're live right now. That's life. There we go. Lulu In the Ford, zone. Been a member for three months. Ever since I moved to California from Georgia, I've been craving a chicken sandwich and curly fries from Jack in the Box. Georgia doesn't have Jack uh, in the Box. We have Chick fil A. Chick fil A is the bomb, though. I want to try Chick fil A. I remember Jack in the Box had like. They had those ice cream drinks before McDonald's did. Mm -hmm. uh, the flurries, the McFlurry. I, I think Battlefield Classic still on Steam. The old they didn't one? take away my copy. Yeah, I've got all the copies of the old ones. Nice. Blaze Corn with the Australian Five, Papa Gundam with enthusiasm and energy to, to chat is awesome, but Gundam High falling out of his chair, tasting colors is some of the best content. I told you. That it's I knew what I was doing. It's for the audience, not for the producer that's not understanding what's going on or having to control everything. You just, like, show me stuff and let me run wild while on vitamins. Yeah. I it's, was on my A to Z. chaos. Raz and Taz for $5. Stop noticing all the crime, Gundam. That goes against the agenda. Yeah, you're fucking right, dude. I've gone down the alt-right pipeline. Uh, Rude Dude Reviews with the $2. FNT starring Gundam. Can't wait. Shout out to Decoy. Thank you, sir. I'll try to be awake for it. King Zaz Astronaut with the $5. We are living in the draft that Orwell thought was too outlandish. Make 1984 fiction again. Everything about 1984. I remember the first time I read it. And it depressed me so much because the ending was like the guy says something to the effect of because they got to him. And he's like, I realized that I love Big Brother and that everything was all right. And it was such a weird cautionary tale. And it depressed me so bad. And we're actually kind of living that now. Yeah. And I'm not going to ever read that book again. Never. Because then I might go crazy. Snowbird 2701, <clears throat> excuse me, with $2. If gun, if DSP had a Gundam mech, what would it be called? Oh, that's it. The Goutler. Yeah. The uh, Snort Zeon. Snort Zeon. Miner Zircon with the $2. Dirty Deeds, Thunder Chief. People sing that. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Raiden Cage, That's a $2. good podcast name. Thank you so much. Dan Bass with the $5. Gundam, you should know better. You can't beat ladies' bitties. That's true. 
That's very true. Sometimes I have a woman over and she sticks her boobs in my eye sockets and I love it. I call it boob vision. We call it motor boating down here. Ah, the old days, huh? Yeah. What the fuck? 1A1A with the $2. Gundam, why not just do what Finster does? Who's Finster? Pokey's. I think it means uh, Fedmeister. Or Who's maybe, that? Maybe the, the simp. Pokey simp. You gotta be more specific. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that. Adrian with the $5. Thank you so much. Not Kevin Feige with the $2 in rubles. Ever thought of bringing Cabrutus on the stream? I thought of it, but then Frit did it first. And then everybody started doing it after Frit. And I'm just like, yeah, that's a path that's been walked too many times. Omega Tau has been a member for 14 months. Don't have anything meaningful to say, but I'd like to use these member milestones. Love the live stream, especially you spurking out at Pescator. Thank you. Red Cop Goblin with the $2. Will Gundam ever design a Gundam that would rock? I've actually designed a few when I was in high school. The General Z with $2. Go to Japan and then build a working Gundam. I would probably go to Japan and obviously have a family there because the Japanese school system far superior to ours. And I would probably actually realistically maybe start a Gundam shop where I would paint and sell model kits and stuff like that. Give classes, you know, even though I'm a filthy guy, Gene. But that would take a lot of work to gain some respect there. But realistically, I have more respect in the Asian Gumplum community than the American one. Because the American one constantly cancels me for being transphobic. And all I've ever wanted to do when it came to Gundam was share my love and passion for art with everyone. But, you know, what can you do? Big facts. What can you do? Sojio one with the $5 Gundam dress up like Goro Majima. Oshima, Maj Majima. <clears throat> when you go to Japan, I don't know if it'll help you fit in, but Yakuza fans there would probably appreciate the cosplay. You know, the irony is uh, a lot of my suits resemble the ones Goro, Goro Majima wore in Yakuza Zero, as well as my hair in a ponytail. All I'm missing, really, is an eye patch of being Japanese. His taste in cowboy boots are exactly the same as mine. He's such a great character design. When I saw Yakuza Zero, I was like, he's like me for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool. Uh, Adrian with the $5. Sorry to hear about your ad rankings. Anyways, you're the only live stream where I keep getting ads midstream. Thank you, man. Thank you for bothering to even look at them. Right. At least we're you're saving a life. Barely. What the hell is that thumbnail, Pask? What are you talking about? Look at that thumbnail. Get that out of oh. here. God help me. Do you see why this is why I spurred out on him? Uh, Omega419 with the $2. Basketball people ruined everything. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball Americans. Uh, H3 podcast is juiced by YouTube's algorithm. 100% it is. Miner well, that's the end of this stream being monetized with that, like, uh, thumb. Miner Zircon with the $2. <clears throat> Common sense equals right wing. Yeah, I think we covered that one. Yeah. Uh, Obama drone strike with the $3. Hanging in there, playboy. Thank you so much. Brian Gamble with the $5. Here's five for Fluffy. Fluffy's out I here told my that. mother Fluffy's a money maker. Uh, Superstar DC with the $2. Gundam, how much weight do you lift now? Well, I only have uh, those modular dumbbells. Well, I have a couple dumbbells, but the modular ones are my heaviest ones. Uh, I put them both to 52.5 pounds each. So that's where I'm at right now while doing chest presses and all that other garbage. Dank Ideals with the $5. Did he or did he not? That is the question. That is creative, Dank Ideas. You are worthy of that name and never let anyone take it from you. You are blessed, child. Mo like with the 20. Just subscribe to Decoy. Thanks for the quality content, Papa Gundam. Tim Pool is okay, but his music is lame. Thank <clears throat> you like, very much. I've heard his music before. It sounds like um, Papa Roach, if it was, like, tuned down. <laughs> so, what, a half a step lower? Right, like, not as energetic, but still the same music. So it's like... Oh. I thought you were saying, like, musically it was tuned half a step lower. So it'd be like drop D or some shit. Now that wouldn't be D. Whatever. Uh, 
Space Eel with the 20. As a woman in the military, draft all or draft none. Women should be obligated to the draft so long as men are. Hey, I'm going to give that. That's a good one right Time there. Time to salute this woman. God bless her. You heard that, America? Draft them all. I want to see Pokey. If I got to go, Pokey should go. Hell yeah. Piranha Pout's been a member for seven months. Hunter famously did his brother's widow, remember? Hell yeah, no, he I don't her. know her, remember. He married her. Crime son Chen with the $2. Never thought I'd see a bootleg Korean gun. <laughs> Salty Bum Ryu with the $5. Gunned him that video of the tall black chicken in NYC. Yoking up that moped dude was pure gold. You two won't let me type thief. Don't type anything that might get you in trouble. They're watching us. Fantastic Mr. Knox. I got banned on Reddit for posting the Twitch Rear Cheeks meta fun times. Yeah, Reddit sucks. Isn't that going public soon? I think so. On the so. stock market? Yeah. What do you think it's going to do? Probably garbage, it, right? It, I mean, these meme stocks right now, they're just crazy because, like, for the first few days, weeks or so, they're booming. Man, I... And get in, get out, you know? Yeah. I got to find easy ways to make money. Alistair the Great with $2, sending multiple super, multiple chats. Google has blocked all of them. Wow. Wow. Alfro, Alfredo Delgado with $25, quality content, chef's kiss. I can't wink with this face. Not Kevin Feige with the two dollars and rubles. Upload Blood from the Sun song, Papa Gundam, please. I'm gonna work on a Spotify when I get free time. I just need free time. Robot Devil 52 donated 10. Please more DSP content. Dance oh clown. Oh my god. I'm like, we can't I'll probably DSP talk to tonight. Ludwig when uh in the summer. I'll probably do one with Ludwig. Because he wants to be a part of that. And I know a DSP video is a minimum of 30 minutes to an hour. Especially if I'm covering the side-scroller shit. And all those stupid layers. I just oh I don't want to be bothered. You gotta go back a year, don't you? Yeah. Oh, man. That's gonna, that's gonna be a, a summer project for sure. <clears throat> Josh W. with the $5 prediction. Once Cat leaves DSP, he will go to the Dubai Porta Potty route and get his Hogan fix. I think if Kat leaves DSP, he'll lose the snort for it, maybe, but she might move out. Maybe. But she doesn't have anywhere to go. She doesn't have any kids either, so like she would just get support unless she really just hit him for half. She's like, going to get that would. support, dude, because look at her. Oh yeah. Yeah, that he's 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 fucked. He's like a stone's throw away from my six hundred pound life and he doesn't even see it. She's almost disabled. Like, yes. she doesn't work anymore. She can't work. When he sits there and says, oh, my wife's been playing this game all morning. It's like, what? what? I used to work. <laughs> it's like, it's sad that I've reached this point where I hear someone's gaming. I get jealous. I'm like, I want to mod Skyrim. <laughs> Bimp, with the $5, you are one of the only streamers I can stand to watch for more than five minutes. Keep it up. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Bimp. Finally. Recognition. I just think that I'm just fucking up all the time, so I appreciate it. Jinda, 13, 5 pounds. Next time on QC, will Gundam's avatar forever be crippled like Ricky Berwick? Will Fluffy become the next Mindfure? And tune in next week. Just kidding. That's like the uh, ending of the Gundam, uh, not Gundam, the ending of the X-Men thing. Yeah, next time next on week. X-Men. Previously on X-Men. Meet up. I gotta like get a it's a I gotta get a female version of this avatar and just really try and make money off of that. That's the move we're gonna make. And I'm a guy guy. Why can't you use this waifu? Like because uh, it's gonna cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> it's an investment. We'll get there. Texas Toast 93 with the five dollars. Guru Gundam, if she swallow, but you wanted her to spit, is that theft? Okay, you want theft? It's when she won't get off of on top of you. Okay, I've had that happen to me oh, like three yeah. times. The leg lock. Yeah, mm. not cool. Uh -uh. Justin Martin's just became a member. Thank you so much. A white guy named Tyrone. Better that's, call Tyrone. That's cat's. Uh, that's cat's side man. Side piece. I started drinking again. I can't live in this clown world sober. Yeah, doing YouTube. Got me drinking again, too. I play Saint Frank Sinatra when I get drinking. Opinionated Junkie with the $2. Key bridge is down. No more traffic for me. <laughs> it's got to suck. 
real mad black atheist with a two dollars, would you attend Diddy's Diddy's freak offs? Hell no. Diddy crazy. Diddy gonna have that camera and, and, and all them weird things he wants to put in you. <laughs> this is my Golden Globe Award. <laughs> yeah. He, you know he's being sued by another producer for $30 million, and this guy's named Little Rod. He's claiming that um, Diddy made him fuck male prostitutes and female prostitutes while he watched. I'm like, what? are you going to spend all that money and stuff just to watch? I don't know. I can't. Let's get this Diddy okay. out of here. I don't need to know what Diddy's doing. <laughs> Matt Murdock with the $2. Are you Indian or Native American? Native American. I'm not Indian like... Uh... Like Mudahar, I'm the kind yeah. that lost his country. He's he's not died. He's ooh, ooh. YouTube Co- stealing from me is just full circle. <laughs> uh, Coacher with the five dollars unsubscribed is hosted by Eli Double Tab, not Mudahar. It was started as a video game podcast. They have a knack for bringing the funny out of everyone. Okay, we'll have that, to look into uh, what it is. Yeah, I'll check it out. Jess with the twenty dollars, your music kicks ass, and so does your editing. Rock on, brother. Finally, somebody with some goddamn sense. I know. Mr. Knight, 3356 with the $10 is a New York born, New York resident born and raised in Queens. Although I have a lot of pride in my home, it took me a long time to realize as much as I love this city, the city doesn't love me. That's the reality of New York. There was a time you could feel a bit of pride of being a New Yorker. There was a time when even after 9-11, it brought back some New York pride, despite the misery that befell this damn state. It brought us together for five whole minutes. Fucking Billy Joel comes back to reality. It's fine with me because I bet it's like, I don't care about the Chinatown or the Riverside. I know what I needed and I don't want to waste more time. I'm in a New York state of mind, baby. That shit was real. Real. Now I'm like, God, I got to get the fuck out of (laughs) here. Fuck that. Matt Murdock with the $2. Diddy was playing himself to get in to the Greek. Like that. That reference I don't understand. That was that movie. This is a movie a long time ago. Oh. Lance Corporal Waffles with the $2. Give Fluffy all the pets. She's going to get it. Minnow with the $5. Adding to the super list. Already learning Japanese. Must prepare in case for location change. We m- May we learn well. Gundam-san. Uh, ikimasta. Daniel Spencer with the $5 super sticker. Thank you so much. Dark Revan with the $10. Mo money for the Escape New York fund. I might suggest Tennessee as a possible stomping ground. It's got all four seasons and stays warmish usually. It only snows every once in a blue moon in most places. No more seasons. I'm going to place with one season. Warm. I'm going to be driving a classic Mustang. I'm not fucking with salt. Oh, Mosh Punk with another $100. Here's another hundo to escape New York, the migrants, and the tunnel jays. Stay vigilant. I'm always vigilant. Thank, thank you, Mosh thank Punk. You're obviously that's rich. Two hundred dollars tonight from Mosh Punk. He's definitely going on the leaderboard. Go on a date with a woman, and she's like, "Why are you always looking around? Like you're trying to pay attention to something, or it's gonna happen." I'm like, "You have to keep your head on a swivel." Aesthetic guy just became a new member. Thank you so much. Echo Castellano with the $10. Not New York, but I moved out of New Jersey a while back. Here's a bit of for the move fun. Thanks for another great show, you two. Jersey suck too, dude. Like, you know, the Jersey River smelled like absolute garbage in the summer. Like, uh, gag worthy. When I go to Long Beach to visit my, uh, my grandparents, it smells like a horse's ass. Like a wet horse's ass. It's terrible. Crime Sun Chen has been a member for three months. Gundam is gay Christian marks. Yep, that's right. DB Nirvana has been a member for two months. Hang in there, bro. Keep doing your thing. We got to take it to the system. Oh, legalize adulthood with the $50. Loved it when you played one of your band's songs on FMT, Lowly's, many months ago. In the forever ago times, God bless you, Legalize. Chad, do you want me to play Blood for Sun tonight as a closing song or something different? Well, I'm about to be done with the Super Chats, and after the outro, we'll see. Uh, Neo, with the $2, send some migrants to DSP's house with cat leaves. I would love to see how DSP would handle, like, migrants stealing shit around him. Uh, Just for the rant. SBZ with the $10. Most streamers will power through the Super Chats right now, but you actually generally respond to all of them one by one. Why this man is still not at a million subscribers, we fail as a, no- as a nation. 
Oh, I could tell you why. Uh, my channel got nuked three times. I've been throttled countless times. This site is run by mostly progressives. No jokes. Like, I have someone who works at YouTube. We talk every now and then. Saves my ass once in a blue moon. And they're like, yeah, it's a lot of progressives here. And they have really whacked out views. They called me a Nazi once. And I'm like, yep, no wonder I'm not at a million. And we really appreciate everyone that uh, that supports the show. Uh, I, I know I try to get as much time as I can with all these super chats, but I uh, want to make sure that every one of them is read, or, or most every one of them is read. God, uh, if I'd like next? touch my mouth, my avatar goes crazy. Fantastic Mr. Knox with the Australian Five, and yeah, Reddit stock is open, and like clockwork, it's doing bad. Ooh, down 11, like 11% bad. Anyways, great stream, guys, while working that six to three. He's got that late shift, that third, that third, uh, third shift. Living Weapon Iron Fist, $5. YouTube already gave me a strike for my language. My reply was Ozzy's cocaine. And F it all, it may be a mobile suit fluffy plushie would be killer. Huh, there's an idea, actually. Uh, I've got 20 Mexican pesos here. One, one horses. Thank you so much. Cthulhu with the $5. Need to fix the eyes on that avatar. It's like Scarface looking straight into my wallet. <laughs> I took it down because, like, it catches all my eye movements, and I'm tired, and I've been drinking, I gotta take a piss. Uh, Daniel Vercaza with the $50. If you, if you would ever have to hold the streamer awards, and you found out last minute DSP was your co-host, would you go about it? How would the beautiful chaos start and end? I would you go would about it. it. Yeah, oh, oh, yes, yes. DSP gets out of the house. And he does an award show and he has to give awards to the people he hates. I'm I'm there. I'm fucking there. I'll even like show up without an avatar mask or something, you know? Oh. I'll be like, over to you, Phil. Time to present Hassad with the award for most well-paid streamer. Just giving him the vamp all the way. Now we go to Phil, who's <laughs> next to Pokemon <laughs> to interview her about how her success has changed the streaming industry. I do it just to watch him turn red. Oh yeah, he'd be in like a, like what LTG wore, but just more wrinkled, and only like a button down, you know, not a support coat. Now that would be content. Um, Bajon Brawny eighty one's been a member for one month. Lol, DSP sucks. Facts. And Jeff Strong's been a member for two months. Have you ever checked out Tokyo Vice or Shogun? I will probably watch Shogun at some point, but uh, when I get free time. After this stream ends, I'm literally going to go take a piss, eat something, and then I've got to start editing a stupid-ass video. I'm only half done, so I wager it'll take me two days to finish. Uh, and that's it. That was the last of them. Well, let's uh, watch that uh, real quick. That yes. chick, Belle Dauphine, whatever she's doing, let's end on a high for the children. Oh, pull up Bell, Belly Bell, Belly Bell. Oh, boy. And now we don't have it ready to go. Jesus effing Christ. Oh, God damn it. No, I've got it. Yeah. It's right here. I just had to scroll down a little bit. Let's go. Boom. Let's taste that magic. Sell it to me, Belle. Let me see what you're doing, girl. Belle's out here selling her bathwater again, chat. But this time, it comes in keycaps for $25. So stunning and brave. I know. Look at this. This keycap right here is $25. This setup right here is close to, I think, $250 for a keyboard with a little bit of her bathwater in it. That better be a Cherry MX keyboard. I'm not even fucking playing. Don't you dare try to sell me a keyboard for $250 and then it's not Cherry MX. And guess what? I want MX light speed, bitch. That better not be no Chinese shit. I'm not playing. Bathwater. Here Here's her store. Oh. Uh, ultimate must-have collection for the Del Dauphine special pre-order price, two twenty. And life isn't for everybody. I'm a firm believer in that. Gaithrion Red. Hmm. At this point, it's kind of like you could tell that the meme is over. She's got no new ideas. 
She's like, oh, backwater again. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Here we go. And this time it's a keyboard. What do you think, guys? What, like what a is little this? droplet of it in one keycap? It shows how little you have to try as an attractive woman. It just shows how little you have to put in. It's yeah. one trick again and again. You couldn't come up with something new, bitch. You could have done some toenail shavings or something. You cut some of your toenails, save them in a jar, then you grind them into a fine powder. Then you could get Vito to snort it on stream. You need me to give you ideas, baby girl? I'll do I it for Vito. six figures. I asked Vito if he was going to um, vape these keycaps. And he said he might do it on his him and Dick's uh, stream. When Vito, get some in. new material. You're going to yeah. vape keycaps again? Get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, here's a wild one. I'm going to vape it again. Shit. I should have bought some of her bath water just so we could forensically test it and expose her if she actually used it. Because I had a forensic guy for this when she first did it. God damn it. And I'm not paying $250 for this garbage to send it to a forensic scientist to see if it's real or not. Daddy don't give enough a fuck. Ugh, get out of here. Ugh. Look at that. 20, that thing probably costs like $0.50 cents <laughs> Yes. <make> in China. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Radioactive water. Get out of here with your fucking keycap ass. God, her pornography was so bad I had a literal porn star tell me she didn't know how to fuck. And that's sad, you know. But it also proves my theory that some girls are so attractive they don't have to try it all in life. And even fucking requires too much effort. I remember someone sent me her porn video and I'm just like, God, this girl is terrible. What the fuck? She fucks like shit. Put your ass into it, bitch. <laughs> Go back to selling <laughs> bath water. How do you suck it fucking? Ah, oh, God damn. This is a damn shame. If I put out a porn video, people be like, good Lord, Gundam. No wonder he calls himself Dick Delicious. He's putting in the work. <laughs> Can't take this no more. <laughs> oh. uh, so we've come to this, uh, the end of this beautiful trash dumpster panda stream. Oh my God. Uh, well, we learned a lot, chat. We experienced a lot. We had fun with decoy voice and we learned that even the Asians are tired of progress. Maybe it's time we regressed to something I like to call a little sanity, a little safety, a little monotony. Don't you miss that? The joy of getting your mail, going out and buying food that's not overpriced, putting gas in your car without having to spend a hundred dollars and maybe enjoying a warm summer's day. That's the America I remember. And that's the America I want to get back to. The America where there weren't transphobe lists that had your name on them. That's the America I miss. The good old days. But don't worry and do not threat. They're not over. As long as they're in your heart. Because there's no cause lost as long as there's but one fool to fight for it. And I am that fool as well as you. Always strive for your own happiness and sanity. Take none of this seriously. It's all satire. And never let the machine crush you. Because your integrity sells for so little. But it is the very last inch of you. And within that inch, you're free. Vive la resistance. You filthy little bigot. <laughs> Blood on you. 
Die.